And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Hit Podcast After Hours Edition. We are joined with seven lovely ladies. Yep. We got a good show planned for y'all. Let's get into it, baby. Let's go. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're you more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time. And we are back. What's up, guys? Welcome to Friendship Podcast After Hours Edition. We are live streaming right now to YouTube, Twitch, and uh, Facebook, which the feed's going to come up here in a second for all our Facebook people. And Pornhub. And por- yeah, Pornhub <laughs> soon. Coming soon. But uh, quick announcements, guys, uh, before we get into the show. <laughs> Patreon.com slash FreshFit, guys. You get all the behind-the-scenes exclusive content there that is not safe for YouTube. Who knows? We might get canceled any day now. The SJWs are definitely coming at us, and they tried us earlier today as well. And just so you know, the Yacht Party videos were taken down. They were too X-rated. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, dude. They were up for like a... Two days and then they were just down. Yeah, well, you oh, got to put them back up, man. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll get those back up for y'all. Don't worry. And then, um, as far as the Zoom call, guys, we are gonna do it. Uh, just we've had a lot of stuff going on. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. We've been, as you guys know, we've hit national news again. Uh, because apparently, dabbling in the dark is what you should be doing. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Uh, but all jokes aside, yeah, we're we're all over the place again, guys. So we got a lot of things behind the scenes that we're dealing with, and we might so be on a major podcast on Monday. Yes. Uh, might be. Yeah. So Soon. we got some things going on in the works in the background. So uh, we'll make an announcement later on. But check us out over there on Patreon.com before we get canceled. All right. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fits. <laughs> also, we're on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, every single platform you guys listen to. We are there. Just make sure you wear headphones, especially nowadays because they're really trying to come at us, but it's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, get the merch, guys. Freshfitpodcaststore.com. You know, I feel like shirts, the Who Hurt You shirts, basically all the, co- the common phrases that we get thrown at us anytime we make uh, objective facts. So check us out over there. We also got another YouTube channel. It's called Fresh Fit Clips. So if you don't have time to watch the full-on podcast and lo- see me lose my hair follicles slow time, you could actually watch it with the clips and see me lose my hair follicles fast time. So check us out over there on Fresh Fit Clips. And then Fresh also has a vlog channel. Guys, for behind the scenes, man, when we're in the studio, outside the studio, uh, check out the vlog channel, 100K on the way. Let's go. See you guys in a bit. Chris? Uh, all right, my microphone. All right, guys, follow me on Twitch on Aaron Poxon. Merch gang, we out here, acpmerchgang.com. Shout out to you guys, by the way. And ladies, DM me on Aaron C. Poxon if you want to come to our show. Make sure your page is not private because I will ask you for photos. And if you have no photos, you can't come on the podcast. So simple as that. So <laughs> there you don't go. go crazy. Yeah, facts. We got to know who you are. Yeah. Um, and then other than that, guys, um, check us out on Twitch. We're on Twitch right now live, twitch.com slash fresh and fit podcast. And then um, follow us on Instagram at fresh and fit podcast. And then TikTok fresh and fit on TT. So, uh, yeah, other than that, man, let's introduce the girls. Oh, and then we also have another Instagram, Fresher Podcast Girls, where we update every day with stories, um, and you can find all the girls there. And all the girls' Instagrams are below in the description if you want to send a follow, send a dick pic, or whatever else you want to do. <laughs> so uh, check us out over there. Uh, on, Fresh. Okay, so ladies, give us your name, your age, what we do for a living, your current dating status, and we'll start right here. And body count. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Kelly Jane. I go by KJ. I am 25 years old. I am a full-time Twitch streamer. Um, last question. What do I do for a living? Twitch streamer. And then dating status? Dating status. Single. Very single. Nice <laughs> to meet everyone. Hello. Uh, what game do you play? Oh, I don't game. I just talk to people online. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a personality. Okay, so yeah. do you like react to, do you do reactions? Do you do... I honestly just drink on stream. I bring my friends on stream. I cook on stream. I build Legos. I get drunk on stream quite I'm on, often. I'm, I'm on I can imagine. If you were a dude, you would never be able to get a following for that shit. <laughs> oh, but, it works, imagine? but it works. Yeah. It works. For girls, it yeah. works. Yeah. It's great. I'm not gonna hold you. The Lego part had me dying. Yeah. I was just gonna say, <laughs> I had like, yeah, build Legos. I have like over a thousand people watching me just like build the Harry Potter castle. Wow. Like, bro, only in this world you can be a girl yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dude you would never. Bro, could you build imagine? Legos and make money. Yeah, let's start a Twitch where we just build Legos. Bro. Ain't nobody gonna be white. Oh. Like, what the fuck? This piece here, bro. Yeah, over here. Wait, 
<laughs> Waiting for work, I build Legos for a living. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We would definitely take it out. But hey, that's one of the double standards that benefits women, bro. So it is what it is. Thank you. That's great. Thank you you so can make much. a bag doing that. Fucking hell yeah. Fuck yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's but, a as well. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what about you? Hi, y'all. My name is Eileen. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Um, New York. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a CNA and I'm a bartender. Um, and I'm single, currently ready to mingle. Oh, oh, she is ready for the Find fire. Find me a nigga, fresh and fit podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What you looking for though? You want chocolate? You want white? What you want? I, caramel? I don't discriminate. Anything? I don't discriminate. Okay. She mm. wants the guy to say "grbao" every time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Try to grbao. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, awesome. well, luckily, I have my wallet's in the other room. So fantastic. <laughs> Someone from Brooklyn in the house. Uh, oh. My name is Atora Azrael. I am a medical assistant and also a model. I'm 25 years old and I am single. Welcome back. Actually, she coming. was here for the whole academic controversy with the girl with the blicky. <laughs> And uh, she's here back again, so yep. welcome back. Okay, all right. And I was here when Tate was here too. Yeah. It was a pretty great conversation we had. So okay, the last time you was here, or the time before that, I think the last time he was oh, here. Okay, cool. shout out to Andrew Tate, man. Yeah, shout out to Andrew Tate. Legend. Yes. Well, hi everyone. My name is Yorita. Um, I am 26 years old. I'm a pharmacist. I just recently um, quit corporates, and now I have my own business for the past four months. So. That's what I'm doing. Oh, trying to great. Just is your is own. your business that you run now with your pharmacy profession, or is it something else? Um, it's more of the holistic side. So basically, right now we do acupuncture, Reiki healing, okay. all types of type of Eastern plus Western medicine mixed cool. together. But going to Ayurveda, so. Well, yeah. it, was it like uh, did like big pharma just piss you off and you said screw this? I want to get into more <laughs> holistic healing. Uh, no, I was in school actually sitting down and I realized that, oh my gosh, I'm wasting my money and I'm wasting my time. So, um, pharmacists do pretty well financially though, or was it for you? It was just a passion. Like you don't, you didn't enjoy it. It was financially, financially. Okay. I yeah. mean, for a female, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. I mean, six digits right away. Yeah. You finish at 24, career. 25. Exactly. Yep. But, um, finding your path as far as your passion and what we do, it's, it didn't sit right with me and my spirit. Gotcha. So. You so know, you, know, just, you, you did it and you're like, oh, I don't really like this. But at that point, you're probably invested. You were probably going I finished. I finished anyway, because yeah. I mean, I have a, a degree yep. when as well finish it. And I finished for my parents, honestly. Okay. If it wasn't for my parents, I would have not finished. But you know. <laughs> that foreign influence. <laughs> I'm sorry, exactly. Foreign oh, influence. What are you, Russian? I'm Albanian. Albanian. Okay. No. All right. So cool. they're like, well, that's why you came here. You better finish. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that feel. I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we got, a, we got a, a legal drug dealer in the house. So uh, fantastic. <laughs> All right. What about you? Um. It was, it was name, name age. age. What we do for a living, a current dating status. Okay, my name is Diamond. Oh, yeah. Are you single? Sorry. We didn't, she didn't say what she was. I am single. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. What about you? Um, my name is Diamond. Um, I'm a pre K teacher and I'm oh, single. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single and, no, wait, I'm not single. I'm in a relationship. I didn't mean to say ooh, single. Everyone's ooh, been saying single. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm in a relationship. Yes, I am. No, Proud to say that too. <laughs> How'd you confuse that though? I know. Because just everyone, was saying, everyone was saying single. So I just was like, Honestly, it was just it just I'm kind of like S T O N E D. So, <laughs> so yeah, she said single. That she was like, oh, he's watching right now. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I gave him the link before we went live. Sorry, <laughs> we're Miami. Miami. No, seriously though, like no, I'm, I'm... protect the bag at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, nah, relationship status taken. Welcome. <laughs> all right, all right. Damn. What about you? Uh, my name is Brittany. I'm 25. I used to be a hygienist, but I hate spit. So now I just do OnlyFans, which is ironic. <laughs> but I do wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, stop the show. You hate spit. I hate spit. <laughs> what about your When teeth? it comes to like cleaning people's teeth. But OnlyFans, like, I share it with six girls. We're called the Hovengers, and we're, like, the top what? percentile. Hovengers. 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 <laughs> Girl, that shit's all crazy. I swear to God, we're booming right now. Movie. Like Viral. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. question, quick question. Mm -hmm. You can spit in your mouth, though. I mean. <laughs> but you hate spit. <laughs> so, no, I hate spit when I got to, like, clean that shit. But when I'm, like, in the mood, it's different. You feel me? But, yeah, so I got the Hovengers with six girls. I w think so it you do like I spit in your mouth? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Anyways, I think it should have been called Baskin Robbins because we got multiple flavors, but I got outvoted. <laughs> and I also do music videos, bar, uh, not, not bar, it's a bottle service girl, stripper, private party. I just really just be finessing. And I mean, I think I'm single. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated, but it's oh. complicated certain days, and on other days, I'm single. <clears throat> you feel me? Mm. Uh, where are you from? I get it. Uh, so I was born in Guadalajara, but then I moved to LA and then Colorado, now here. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Orale. Are you Mexican or were you just born there? So I'm Mexican and Italian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My mom's from Sicily. Okay. 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 And your dad is full Mexican? My dad was born He's in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Yeah. All right. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, and then you, what, what is the name of your it's Ho just... Vengers. That's yeah. how I got, actually got founded to come on here. I Wait. So who's the Iron Man of the group? <laughs> me. Me. I'm not going to lie. They put me on all the like live YouTube. They put me on everything because no other girl like will talk or do anything. They'll just be boring. Right. So like I'm the face of it right now. But yeah, Hovengers on OnlyFans. Like six girls, all different flavors. Is, what could you do? Like what? where could you go wrong? Wait, so who's uh, Caramel? Um, so we actually have this one. Her name's Hovenger Alley. Okay, never mind. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's yeah, bomb. Yeah. She's bomb. You guys um, just come in with the superhero the theme, like, all right, uh, all right. No, we actually have a manager who manages it all. Is it a guy? Nah, it's another girl who is a part of it. She started it. Yep. Why am I going to let no dude manage me? Is he selling that content? No. Okay. 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 Look, I got some questions, but I'm gonna save them for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have our views on as far as like male versus female managers in that industry, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, all right, cool. So, and and then uh, um, you said you're a diverse panel. So, what you got? White girls, Spanish girls, we black have girls, everybody? literally black girls, white girls, Spanish girls, mixed girls. Like we have ten girls in total. Mm -hmm. We had six. We just recruited four more. So we literally have a variety: blondes, Fantastic. redheads, like oh, brunettes, so everything. So wait, hold on. So y'all got. Shaniqua's, Ling Ling's. <laughs> All that. And, and, and if you want a skinny uh, girl, Karen. so we got Amira's. skinny girls, we got Maria's. big body girls. <laughs> you got everything for us. We got Maria, we got Salina, we got Ashley, oh, we yeah. got fucking Geeky. Like, we got everybody. Hey, you got, fantastic. You got, you got, you got the pause of the month. Mary Kate? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't got a Mary Kate, but that's because we don't be fucking with that shit that Mary Kate be fucking with. But I got a preference for Shaniqua's. Y'all got Shaniqua's? I mean, we got tons of Shaniqua's. Like, we have about, like, three of each, if that makes sense. Oh. Touch my <laughs> I'm telling you, it should have been called Baskin Robbins because we got so many flavors. Okay. Fantastic. Cool. All right. What about you? Um, well, my name is Ellie. Sadly for y'all, I'm not part of the Hovengers. Um, <laughs> I'm 24. <laughs> uh, I'm a freelance artist and student, um, and I am single. Welcome back, Ellie. Thank you. Yeah. I'm cool. just saying, we're recruiting. Uh, <laughs> to get through. All right. No, no, no. That was great. That was great. Uh, I'll read some of these chats real quick and then we'll uh, get into the uh, the show. We got um, we got what? One or two videos to react two. to? Two. Okay. By the way, 550K. So oh, yeah. YouTube. We reached yeah. 550,000 subscribers. Yo, Marco hey. Hey. I want to say this too real fast. As y'all know, we went viral last week, right? <laughs> yes. Between, you know, kicking out some, some uh, female rapper. And then, uh, and then, obviously, people saying that, oh, y'all are racist or colorist, all this other bullshit. Mm -hmm. You guys can't cancel us because, newsflash, we've been doing this. I don't know where you guys been the past <laughs> year and a half or so, but we've been talking about this shit forever. We're going to roast everybody. We're going to make jokes. It is what it is. All these people are obviously just must have found the channel and said, oh, we're going to cancel them. And it's like, okay, good. Okay. Try it. Like, you know what I'm saying? This isn't must the first time. here. <laughs> yeah, you, seriously, must, must be, be new, new here. here. <laughs> this is not the first time that we've went viral into the mainstream, you know, for me saying some things that we think, you know, like punish bad behavior for women. Oh, uh, you know, you know, traditional men versus traditional women. Like we've went viral many times. So it's like, all right, mainstream media, SJWs and the politically correct. If y'all want to cry and come over here, that's fine. But we're not changing. It is what it is. So if you guys want to listen to platforms that are more politically correct and nice, go listen to the real. Go watch The View. Go watch Oprah. We don't talk about that bullshit over here. And look, this is entertainment, man. If you get offended by it, hey, that's on you. This is fun. Exciting. So there you go. Fuck your feelings. So anyway. I was going to actually comment on that, actually, because I'm like, how are they going to say y'all of all people are racist? You feel me when there's like worse shit going on, all that. Like at the end of the day, you can't give disrespect and not expect to get that back. You feel oh me? Like, that's how I feel. Like at the end of the day, you get the energy you give. So I was going to comment on that because it's like at the end of the day, bad publicity, good publicity, all of its publicity. It's all good. Facts. And mm. how are they going to cancel y'all and say you racist when I'm just saying, look at the diversity. Exactly. <laughs> Which everyone would respect, but if you don't respect oh, us, sorry. it's like, yo, like, cool. And we roast everyone too. Yeah, all racist. You know what I'm saying? I know. I'd be seeing it. I'd be seeing that. Yeah. And like, it's funny as hell. You feel me? Like, if you disrespectful, you. get out. You don't got to be here. I literally True. wore a Chinese hat yesterday, a, a rice hat. 
and made jokes, uh, you know, in an Asian accent. No one in China, you know, in Asian Twitter is complaining or crying <laughs> about that shit. Because oh, they understand. Only America. Oh, it's you, a joke. Okay, we oh, understand. Not, oh, yeah, right funny. now, everybody's funny, sensitive. Awful, awful. They be yeah. trying to cancel people for anything. For Bro, I got any canceled for thing. being on some YouTube stream because, like, I did other streams. And I went under the table, pretended like I sucked dick just for the stream because that's the type of like stream it was. Mm -hmm. And they canceled me, bro. I got my Instagram what? deleted and everything. I had 30K. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Oh, Tell that me shit that. hurt. So, and then TikTok, I'd be twerking like, in TikTok shorts, be, not yeah. bikinis. Yeah. And they take down all my shit. That's See, why I'm not no going to lie. Okay with they hate on me. They'll tell me child. One mic at a time. One mic at a time. Did they finish your point? I want to make sure she gets her point out. I was just saying, like with TikTok too, like they'd be canceling me for anything. And I don't even be twerking in bikinis or nothing because I know I have an ass. And they still be taking my shit down. But then I see people like Tana Mondra who has her titties like basically out, which no disrespect. I love her like all oh, any day she wants it. She could get it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, why am I getting canceled, bro? Like, why y'all hate me? Yeah, people they, are they pick people on TikTok to they do. pick on. Like for me, I'm 25 years old. And they'll be like, oh, child, uh, child safety. And I'm like, bro, what do you mean child safety? I sent them my ID. I was like, I'm 25 years old. Like, I can wear shorts and, like, twerk a little bit on TikTok. Like, it's Literally. not that big of a deal. Yeah. Literally. And then I see other people with their tits out. And I'm like, well, not tits out. But, like, you can see, like, their full nipples through their shirt. And, like, I'm just like, come on, dude. Like, girl. I'm trying to do that. Like, what you mean? Why did he, like. I be seeing <laughs> full fupas on there. And yes. I'm like, how can this bitch show her fupa? But I can't show a little bit of, like, booty yeah. cheeks. You, you gotta know? start a new account. That's I started way. three. You know what it is? TikTok is racist. You know it's what it is? No, TikTok. I didn't get canceled. It's society. Like, I really feel like yeah. people just pick and choose. Like, just like the same thing. Y'all had Asian doll. The whole situation went down. And then they picked an old video of y'all to be oh, like, oh, can see they're colorist the and they're this and third. And I'm like, come on now. Like, people have their own preference. I feel like any little thing you say, especially if you're on a platform, is somebody going to get their feelings hurt. It's everybody got to get out your feelings. Shit don't really have to revolve around you. I don't have to censor myself because... I feel a certain type of way about a subject. Let me just voice my opinion because that's what people want. And then when you do it, they're gonna be like, oh, cancel that person, cancel that person. And I'm like, that shit not even that bad. Like, it's why not do you feel deep, some type no, of Yeah, facts. it's not even that deep. Yeah. They be like, wanting a cookie now. cutter like version of what they think you should be. But yet I've hung out with, I'm not gonna like say who I was with, but I've hung out with Asian Doll with someone I was dating at the time. Mm -hmm. And we all know she's a clout chaser. Like, no disrespect. <gasps> oh, wait. No, like, I'm not gonna hold you. No, I'm not gonna hold you. Okay. We all I'm gonna say my opinion. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's but we opinion. all know she's a clout chaser. You feel me? Why after she got this whole thing going with this podcast, she mm -hmm. goes and uh, tats Vaughn's name on her. But yeah, yeah she's dating Jack Boy. You feel me? And off and on with him, hitting on Antonio Brown. She a clout chaser, bro. And 16. I'll never get famous off someone else's name. I, I promise you that. that. <laughs> I'll say this. Because we were on an Instagram live earlier today. Uh, what was it? Far I Gray. And, and him and this girl tried to like challenge us and say, hey, you know, it's, it's fucked up that you guys say this stuff. Basically, they're like, hey, listen, black people went through a lot. You guys as black men, you should not be talking about this stuff. You know our history. You know, you shouldn't be putting down black women, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, listen, bro, no one's above getting roasted, okay? Like, everyone has suffered. We're not going to sit here and coddle people's certain feelings because of who you are, what you attribute yourself to. It is what it is. We're going to make jokes on everybody. Just that people like to pick and choose what happens. And then I also, you, I'm glad that you were able to look, you know, beyond the bullshit what happened was they put that clip out, right, with, with the, the argument between me and, and Asian Doll, which, you know, she was disrespecting the platform. Anyone that has common sense will see that. Mm -hmm. um, and then she said to make it look different was, hey, I was protecting the black, black woman. woman next to me because that girl had interrupted six times prior. And I told her, yo, stop. And then she and but she had been coming. She came late two hours late and didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on prior. So I was telling her, listen, this girl has been interrupting the entire time, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of made her look dumb. So what did she yeah. do? Instead of acknowledging that she was incorrect, she doubled down and said, oh, you a mean ass nigga, blah, blah, blah. And that's where the clip went, right? But the long story short is this. She went on there, said, I'm protecting a black woman, which is not true. And what people don't know is she has a bunch of racist ass tweets, man, making fun of African women, dark skinned women, et cetera. Agents. So it's mm -hmm. cap. It's cap. At least with us, we own it. We said we roast everybody. We're her. It's like, oh, no, I'm just protecting a black woman that was getting attacked. And it's like, nah, bro, you cap. Yeah. We, should, we have the Twitter screenshots of you and the hypocrisy. You know, but my so. thing is, why does my preference or what I'm into have to do with the whole black race? It's like, bro, like if I want to date somebody, it's who I want to date. I don't tell you who to date. Like, you feel me? Like, that's just weird to me. I don't know. Yeah, I but think no, it has something that. to do with black men. It's a lot of 
like I'm not saying you, but it's a lot of black men that don't like black women. And that has something to do with just how we grew up in society where they were like, oh, darker skins, things like that. Oh, um, when you're darker, you're no good. You're bad. You're this and the third. Only light you're ratchet. Only light skinned girls get by. Even with like something as like being a celebrity, getting Grammys, things like that is always highlighted against the lighter skinned women because it's white passing, basically. So they mix that with a certain preference. You've never really disrespected a black woman, never. but to you, you have a preference. I don't, I just don't date black women. I'm not attracted to them. Or you can be attracted to a black woman, but you don't want to date her. And they'll say it like, oh, you just don't like black women all, at all. You're racist. You're this, you're that. And the third. So they're like mixing everything that, together. If we came on the platform, we said, yeah, we don't really date white girls. They got no ass. They're flat backs. <laughs> no one would say anything. They'd be like, oh, okay, True. cool. Yeah, I don't sure. like Becky's either. No one would say shit. But if you're if you if I was to say, hey, I, we don't date black girls, we don't dabble in dark, oh my God, you guys are racist. And it's like, it's just it's crazy because it's like they always want to, it's like they're looking to get triggered. Like one of the mm -hmm. girls that was on the stream with, with on the IG live with us, yeah. like she was just like consistently trying to put herself in a victim mindset, like, this is wrong, but we've been through so much and you guys should know better, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, fuck your feelings. We don't care. <laughs> You are not our target demographic. We are not trying to appease to 40-year-old black women. Sorry, that's not our target audience. We're going to say what we want to say. And if you get offended, cool. But don't watch the content. Like, why are you watching us looking to get triggered? Like, this is not designed for you. This is designed for men between 15 to around their 50s. Entertainment, edutainment, talk about money, getting girls, etc. And this is locker room talk. This is a locker room type podcast. We say what the fuck we want, and we don't care about what the politically correct want to say. And it's a refreshing change because... Everyone is walking on eggshells. I don't want to offend anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get canceled. Oh my God, I can't talk about this race. Oh my God, I can't talk about this religion. Fuck that shit. Whether you're Asian, black, white, Muslim, whatever. I make fun of myself all the time. Y'all see me pull out this fucking katana and say honor killings, right? Like, I don't care. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to have a good time. And if people get offended, cool. Go somewhere else. Go watch CNN. Go watch CBS. Go watch mainstream television. But that is not us. So suck a dick mainstream no. media we I don't think, give a fuck what y'all think i feel that i like, think people on the internet bomb. are looking for a reason to be triggered like they're bored yeah. you know what i mean they, they, they want a reason to be mad at someone and that's what stirs up controversy and gets abused so i mean good for y'all for speaking your mind that's what you should do and it's gonna work for you guys but like at the same time that's what comes with the internet like people are fucking bored they're sitting in their room it's covid there's lockdowns like we have nothing better to do you yeah. know no literally and like people yeah. like people because i used to go on other live streams like i'm not gonna mention their names because they don't deserve to be mentioned but i used to go <laughs> on other ones you feel cool. me that's how i got my clout up a little bit and people would always be like oh that white girl this that white girl that and i'm like little did you know i lived in guadalajara on the floor sleeping on the floor for 10 years bro mm. like i'm not even white but because i look white like everybody always tries to come for me but yet if i were to tr be the same way they're gonna be like this and that you feel me so right. it's like everyone's looking for something to come at me 100%. for and I'm like, at the end of the day, y'all don't know my struggles. Y'all don't know what I went through. Like, the reason I live the way I live is because I'm not going to live how I used to live. And so that's why when I, like, seen that shit with Asian Dom, like, girl, you know what you signed up for. You see they roast anyone and everyone. Like, tonight yeah. I could get roasted. You feel me? Because I'd be saying some dumb shit. Nobody's saying. Hold you. Yeah, well, yeah, we throw you. We throw you times 10. <laughs> right, well, I just want to say one more thing because, yeah, like, on. you're like, oh, y'all have black women. Bro, I was on a yacht for the black girl, like. It's not like I don't date black girls, just like, yo, some girls are like crazy and like they're really hood. I don't, I'm not about that. So I'm just so like, bro, yeah. also, chill out. They pulled that from a 20 second clip where a supporter sent in a super chat. And you guys already know when we read the super chats, which we're about to do now, mm -hmm. yeah. it's always comedy making jokes. And it's context. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it, it is what it is, man. But anyway. Yeah, I just be like, you right. Oh, all right, all right, right. All right, girls, let's uh, read, let's all right, let's, uh, we'll read oh. these real quick and we'll get into the first question. And uh, there's already almost 5,000 y'all in here, so do me a quick favor, guys, like and the like video. the video. Sub the channel. Uh, Desmond Montgomery, shout out to y'all for doing that IG Live. Don't worry, we don't play the victims over here. Isms will never go away. Just have overcome them no, no matter what. Thank you so much. Thank you, Desmond. Uh, 500 uh, Japanese yen all the way, uh, Tyrone from Japan. Martin Walter, with the girls on the panel tonight, did it cross your mind this one may be a problem after seeing them prior to interaction? No, no, I mean, I all deal with them before. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. J uh, Jay Breezy, 10 bucks. Hey, Myron, I just want to tell you that you inspired me to keep pushing to go to the gym. And now I'm 30 pounds down and put on a good amount of muscle. Still got a good three or four months to hit my goals. Absolutely, nice bro. Keep going. Proud of you. Yeah. Yes. Of Being fat is unacceptable, my friend. So good work. Fast. James Brown, <laughs> is Andrew Schultz Unhealthy. still coming on the show? Uh, uh, <laughs> let, let's pause. just say um, Andrew's cool. 
<laughs> I'll just say that. Uh, LaFoot won, five bucks. I saw that IG Live you guys did earlier with that blue pill man trying to shame you. I was dying when you put on the clown mask, Myron. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that this dude came, comes in here. So quick little thing for y'all. So we're on the IG Live, right? And we pretty much finished the first part of the interview with the girl and the guy. Yeah. He brings us some dude. That's like a Black Panther, you know, like one yeah. of these like Black Nationals, like Black Barb, our Black Queens, whatever. You you hang out with the White Devil, the Crackers, and all this other shit. And he's saying wild shit, yeah, wild ra racist, racist shit. shit. And he's dead ass, like he doesn't he's, care. He's serious. It just goes to show the ridiculous double standard we have where people can sit there and openly disrespect Caucasians with no repercussions. But let someone say, Shaniqua, oh my God, you're racist. Bruh, I was like, yo, the hypocrisy is crazy. I didn't even respond to this dude. I just said, I just put on my fucking clown mask and started dancing. Because I was like, bro, we're in a fucking cloud world oh, right no. now. And he, and he tells me, oh, black woman never wanted you in your life. Bro, I, I grew up in Barbados, bro. I dated black girls for a minute. It's like, bro, like, I can choose who I want to date. Mind you, I, <laughs> I show my dog Hero, which is a white dog. He's like, yo, is this white enough for you, nigga? I hold you, 70 years old? I think it's whack, man. Bro, real talk. Just fucking clown world up right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> can I just put this mask on? <laughs> <laughs> literally, man, literally. You know what I'm saying? Just put the fucking music on at that point. It's like, bro, this dude is ridiculous. So, this is what like, it is, sometimes man. some people aren't even worth like a legit conversation. You just got to look at them, laugh, and move on. And that dude is literally living in a clown world, bro. But this is nice. this is what we're dealing with over here, bro. Like, this mm -hmm. is what it is. So, and it is what it is. Uh, 10 bucks, <laughs> hand throw. <laughs> Don't tell O'Shea I'm over here, okay? <laughs> we got Big O, 20 bucks. Thank you, brother. Bitcoin Bandit, uh, 10, uh, is that pounds? Just seen the IG live with Farah Gray. Myron is a G. He doesn't bend or fold. Yeah, bro. That, that's here's the thing too, man. Like the, the SJW is the left. They don't really care about an apology. They just want to see you like pander to them, and we're not doing that. Yep. Like uh, like mainstream media, all you guys suck a dick, man. Real talk. Like we we're gonna keep doing what we want to do. Shade Room reported that stuff incorrectly, so fuck you guys. Uh, these other big Instagram channels that like wanted to come and try to perpetuate some kind of narrative that were racist. Fuck you guys, because <laughs> a lot of the people that are saying this stuff, y'all don't even watch the content. Y'all watch 30 seconds of a com a comedic part of our show and want to say y'all are racist. Man, fuck y'all, man. Like, that, But that's what they do. Uh, the takeover, 10 bucks. Yo, what up, fam? Too busy working to actually catch the live, but showing love to the squad. Hashtag for the alga. Thank you, brother. Cool. Devontae Murray, five bucks. That Black Panther dude was a plant for real. Yeah, bro. He They tried to trigger us and it didn't work. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> Wolf 99 10 bucks. You can only laugh at some people, bro. You don't even like, mm -hmm. you know... It, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kabir Moomin, love the videos, uh, guys. Me and my girl used to argue about the show all the time, but now she asked uh, to watch you. F and F, we have facts, hey, bro. there you go, bro. We keep it raw, man. We tell the negative sides about men and women. King, uh, Life. King Life, the Black Panther dude's hairline was self-hate. <laughs> <laughs> Hate Wolf 99, y'all should do a show explaining game for shorter guys. Uh, that's on our Patreon, man. Yeah, we do on Patreon. We talk about that. Malachi Jackson, five bucks, random, but is your boy OBN legit to help get verified on IG? Yo, there's a lot of posers of him, bro. You gotta yeah. make sure you talk to the right, sure, one. Make sure the right one. A lot of fake OBN brand is out there. Uh, but shout out to him. Space Keeper, FNF to 1 million. Thank you so much. You uh, Mike Anthony, five bucks. I'm flying to Miami on Friday for three days. Enjoy, my friend. Okay, Enjoy. have fun. DL Saint, holy $200 shit. $200 in the chat. Shout out to you, Damn, my boy. Long, Yo, how did that live stream go? I didn't have time to watch. Maybe do a Patreon video. I was able to catch my own opening statement. LOL, you a savage, my dude. Keep leaning from the front, gentlemen. Yeah, bro, it is what it is. Uh, AL. That's what I'm talking about, Fresh and Meyer. Never fall to these weak propaganda slave-minded people. It's time to wake up. That victim mentality will never allow you to grow. That's why this is the best podcast in the world. Facts, Facts. bro. You can't sit there and cry about shit that happened three years ago, and 300 years ago, and be like, oh my God, my people are oppressed, but I'm still oppressed today. Shut the fuck up. Like, people are over here crying. You got electricity, internet, water, food. Only in the first world, in the West in general, do we sit there and cry about like, oh my God, they looked at me funny at the grocery store. They thought I was going to steal because they color my skin. Oh my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, out in fucking like Syria, kids are dying. They can't even drink clean water. Y'all niggas crying about someone looking at but you my thing uh, is, at a grocery store. You want to progress the, fuck? the black race, right? Why is victimizing yourself and complaining about it going to help you? It's not going to help you at all. Focus on improving yourself as a person. And then from there, you can grow help other people and have influence and power. See, I feel that because I donate everything I make in a week. Every week, I donate ten percent to an orphanage. Mm. See, that's like, good. No, that's that's, that's awesome. Value, rather than complaining, and that's because I'm a mom. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, no, man. I mean, you can never move forward if you're going to consistently look backwards. You yeah. can't effectively move forward if you're always looking back and like crying about things that happened in the past. You can't change it. It is what it is. Racism ain't going nowhere. You can either embrace it and move along with it and make it a joke and have fun, or you can cry and sob and be in a corner, figure out what's going on and play this song in the background like, Hello, darkness, my <laughs> I mean, it depends on the situation, though, because sometimes like people get picked on just really based off the color of their skin. Like 
the person could be minding their business, just going in the store. And the next thing you know, cops is out there, they accused to get stole. They were stealing and all this stuff. And I'm like, yo, there's people that, you know, sometimes they live in a certain neighborhood because they make a certain type of money. And then they're getting hell from their neighbors just because of the color of their skin or how, like we always see how the cops treat black people against certain races and it's not fair. It's really not fair. Well, every 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 situation is is unique to that. Yeah, it is situation. unique. There's always so a bunch of like circumstances and facts, tat. right? Especially mm -hmm. with police interactions. But that's a whole other discussion. Yeah. But in general, like what I'm saying is that life is fucked up. The world is fucked up. Nothing is really fair. True. So you can't really control the world, but you can't control your reaction to it and how it affects you. Mm -hmm. And if you let it come in and affect you, and you have a negative mindset. Well, you're going to look at the world as half empty and then you're going to have this doomer mentality. Or you could say, all right, the world sucks. People are going to be biased towards me, whatever it is. I can either fold and cry and or I can accept it, embrace it and prove the stereotype wrong. I'll give you guys an example. 2001, 9-11 happens, right? Mm -hmm. My mom, Muslim, covers her hair. Getting harassed everywhere. We went to Target, Walmart, whatever. Terrorist, blah, 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 saying a bunch of fucked up shit, right? I'm going to school. They're clowning me. Hey! Saddam, your, your, your uncle Saddam, man, they're going after him. Or after he died in 2003, oh, we got, your, we got him. We got your uncle. You know, Osama bin Laden, yo, your uncle's on the run. So they used to make a bunch of jokes on that, right? On, on my uh, background just for being Muslim and then the way I look. And then also I used to get black jokes on me too. I'd go into a store and people think I'm, uh, they profile me or whatever. And I kind of had to make a decision right there and then, right? I'm like, okay, I got two choices. Either. Round. I sit there and cry, <laughs> right? And be like, this is fucked up and take the victim mindset and say, oh my God, this is not fair. Uh, and like just bask in it. Or round two, I accept it. Say, fuck y'all. I'm going to break the stereotypes. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to speak uh, correctly. I'm going to break all these stereotypes. I'm going to show that I am not the status quo mm -hmm. and just, you know, create my own reality, essentially. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's how you decide to move. And that was actually a big stimuli for why I even got into federal law enforcement in the place, uh, first place was I didn't like how my mom was being treated by other people. So I was like, you know what? I'd like to actually go after the people that perpetuated this, stereo, this horrible stereotype of uh, Muslims and, you know, people of the Middle East are, um, are terrorists. And it ended yeah. up working out. It was a great motivator. So I take the hate and the anger and any type of bias. I use it as fuel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When people hate on me. Other people take it and be like, oh, my God. And they just like crawl on the ball. But it's up to you how you decide to choose it, you know, how yeah. you decide to use that hate uh, yeah. for your benefit or detriment. And just add to your point, yeah, definitely there is things where it's unfair treatment to black people, 100%. We're not saying that. But, like, for example, even myself, I came here to America six years ago, and, like, I've been racially profiled many times. I got pulled over by the cops. But guess what? I chose to take it a different light. So, you know what? All right, cool. Bet. I'm going to prove them wrong. You know what? I'm a black man here in America. Uh, people are hating on me for being this color. Guess what? I get to cry about it. Or make a difference in my life and That's i chose true. to make a difference stuff improve and now we're here one of the most i want to say controversial podcasts in the world but i had a choice to make either complain about it and, and be a victim or be a winner change my mindset and move forward so you got, yeah. you got a choice to make yeah but i'm not i'm not i'm not disagreeing with you there are definitely yeah. some fucked up things in place there 100 yeah. no i tell people so, no, i get it i tell mm. people all the time there are two two ways either you're gonna eat or get eaten which one you want to do, it's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, no, sure. literally. Yeah, and like on your point, I feel that because like all my friends, like even when I have let them take my car and stuff, they'll be like, hey, you need to come by. Like the cop pulled me over and they'll be like tripping on them. But yeah, I pull up and they're all nice to me. And I'm like, little do you know, I'm not even an American citizen, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, but because I'm blonde and I look white, like you're going to treat me different. So that's why I'm always trying to help. So I feel what you're saying completely. Like, there's a lot of unfairness. But, there's but at the end of the day, of you can't call this podcast racist when y'all every day have a panel of diverse women. Yeah. It's never just one set of women. It's diverse yeah. women. Y'all are polite to who's polite to y'all y'all let people have their opinions like i just the racism part threw me because i'm like i don't see how yeah i mean we yeah. should respect everybody so yeah, that's how true. it should be well uh, on our uh, kkk special days we don't let the black girls in that day i hate you i'm dead those that's the white hood day um all right so mm -hmm. we got uh Toralita bass uh five bucks saw you on Ferris show so all the trick questions, but excellent answers. Consistency is everything. Channel on 550K. So something is working greatly. And this is a yeah, we've been growing. Here. Shout out to you, uh, Sorolita. Y'all can't cancel it. Since this whole bullshit happened, we, well, we gained like 7,000, 8,000 subscribers. We're gaining yes, about 1,000 a day. So you can't cancel 
people like us, we've been doing this for a minute. Y'all must be new here. And niggas rich, bitch. <laughs> no, seriously. They'd have to cancel Tana before canceling y'all. All right. Uh, shout out to King Life, Five Bucks. What were, we won't read that super okay. chat. Shout out to King Life, man. Come with the fire. Quan Worthwell <laughs> um, says, just stop by to show some love and support the FNF gang. Get the likes up, fellas. Very well said. Ambition 1911, Five Bucks says, get Issa back on the show. It's a stop. It's a uh, stop. Mega Quinanos, two bucks says, damn, I want to make the bag playing with Legos. <laughs> that's, that's <to> you. <laughs> and D Old Time, 10 bucks says, random but love languages are both. <clears throat> if you constantly give her words of affirmation, but don't give her a gift for her birthday, she'll definitely be pissed. Hashtag Chris pays for pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. What you pay for everything <laughs> else, so what, why not pay for pussy? <laughs> Uh, hell no. Mm. Um, I'm saying if it's worth it and you're giving her gifts, not you gotta me pay to give birth, but... you gotta pay to die. Uh, you think that hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying there's some dudes who would. You feel me? I don't. Like, I got my own finesse, whatever, but, but paying on. for pussy ain't the worst hold thing. On. Hold on, let's we, we don't promote over here. Yeah, we're, sorry. Uh, hey, Jackson, yeah, we're not we're not sorry, fans. sorry. Hey guys, are we gonna see Fresh Quisha, Marisha, and La Christina and Monique tonight? Possibly. We'll let you know soon. <laughs> Vic O Ten Bucks says, Love what y'all do. First time on live chat. Thanks for keeping it real. Rebecca was awesome when she was on. Spitting needed truth. Ready for some delusional statements tonight. Pretty much. Uh, Agent Fit 5 bucks says, man, fuck these slave-minded people. Want to live a victim <laughs> mindset. Laugh my ass off. We never fold. Shout out to the fam. Let me get a twirl from New York. New York. Uh, they want to see a twirl. You want a twirl? <laughs> twirl. <laughs> the show it's 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 you. Show that was one. Maybe later. Maybe, maybe mm. later. Okay. Mm. Uh, Jorge Villafranca, just a shout out to my FNF ninjas caught the live again. People like the video. Thanks, okay. Brother. Uh, Sebastian, five bucks. Y'all should be called the fatherless instead of the whole Avengers. You're right. My dad ain't in my life. You ain't wrong. <laughs> 20 bucks from the international asshole. Shout out to FNF. Question for ladies. What is the most faithful Zodiac sign for men? All right. Real, quick, real, real quick. We'll start here. Most faithful Zodiac sign. Zodiac sign. You can't base that off of signs. Oh yeah, you can. You, you, you can. okay? Yes, so you don't yeah. so you don't believe you don't believe in zodiac signs. I think That's they're fine. good. I think they're good icebreakers and they're good things to like talk about. But I don't believe that zodiacs mandate and rule. It's not like a a mandated thing. Fair enough. Okay, what about you? I mean, like fuck a Virgo. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> That's my baby daddy. All right. But I like honestly, I like Aries. I like Aries because I had a daughter who passed away, and she's an Aries, and I I've, I've connected with Aries men stronger since then. Mm. You Our feel me? I, thank you. All right. Uh, what about you? Um, I would have to say Libra because my man's a Libra. Uh, I'm, 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 a a Libra. <laughs> I'm a Libra. Too. Yeah. You I'm a Libra too. I'm a Gemini. You ain't a Libra. <laughs> I can't stand Libra. Dead oh, October dead second. Ass. You know what that means, right? No, nah, I don't. Oh, yeah. October. It means that we're the best. Libras are the best. Mm. <laughs> I, I do we like Libras, world. but I don't know if they're the best. <sighs> they slap. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I agree with you. I don't think that you can tell if a man will cheat or a woman will cheat based on their signs. Um, okay. So I don't have... Uh, I mean, every Virgo yeah. I've been with cheated on me. Maturity. <laughs> I mean, I can only speak from a Pisces because I'm a Pisces. Mm -hmm. um, I've also, because I'm learning my spirituality, I've also learned that we have more than one sign. So people really mm -hmm. act different. So it's kind of like what she said. There's a lot of Pisces that ain't shit. I ain't gonna lie. But I mean, when we're in, we're in. And then if you're playing with us, then we kind of like play the game too. You right. know, I haven't really, I haven't cheated, but I will make you feel like I did. You know, like I will <laughs> play like you petty like level that. Activated. Yeah, like I'll be real petty. I love that. Like I, I, I can't. You know why? Tonight's topic is regarding that. But go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I can make you feel because I have this habit of. I will show you how I want to be treated. I'll also treat you genuinely. But then when you start not really reciprocating that, I'm going to start to give you what you give me. Mm. And a lot of times it will make the guy be like, oh, you stopped doing this. You stopped doing that. And he'll be like, yo, I'm just being you. Like, like ask yourself just, why. I'm just being you. you. Like, like energy. It. Like, I Nigga, give you the same energy. Up? You can't <laughs> dish out shit that you can't take. Right. I That's have a it. quick question on that. Why would you postpone it if you know it's not going to work other than just... Leave. Because... Leave. I want you to feel how I feel. Pisces it's not even that. Well, you're not hurting him. You're hurting you because you're holding anger. And when you hold anger, it's not light. Right? I don't so hold I don't anger. Feel like it's because anger. Well, that's I feel what like... That's what it is. When you're met, you're, you're holding anger. If you want to pay him <clears throat> for what he did to you, that's because you're hurting, not because you're hurting him. It's resentment. Yeah. I mean, I get what she's saying, but... Maybe you hold with anger. That's but what I'm, I'm not. Yeah, like I'm I don't really hold. Revenge. Like I'll get. But I'm saying, upset. what did you learn from the revenge? What What are you? 
is this so fulfilling for you that you really want to do oh, this? Oh, hell yeah. Me? Because I've, you... I've done told you more than once. I showed you. But again, I, I, why, why not painted just leave? the picture? Yeah, yeah, I will leave. Revenge. No, before trust leaving, me. But I, want you I feel like it's too. worse than... But why? I've ghosted why? people uh, before. I feel okay, like... One, one mic, one mic at a time, guys. Let, the, uh, okay. her, her, thoughts let her finish first, her thoughts before off. you guys jump on it. Yeah, okay, it's, my it's bad. Not, not good. But um, I don't just leave. And I've learned through maturity, it's not really right to just ghost a person or just leave or just be like, oh, fuck off. And then, you know, whatever. I'm kind of really showing you like, look, this is what you're doing to me. And you can't even take that energy. So you need to fix that because you're going into the next relationship thinking that somebody is going to really hold that weight. And then when that person just ups and disappears, oh, everybody just leaves me. Everybody just da -da -da -da, when you're really the bad person. I really want to show you who you are. On the outside. But is it your job to show him who he is? No. Or is it his job for him to figure out who he is? I mean, in a way, people come in your life to kind of teach you lessons. Some people are there forever. Some people are really there for seasons. You, I probably meet you for two, three years, learn something off of your personality or the experiences that I have with Myron or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we break apart. Well, but I've grown as a person. I was just saying, so, so, just like friendship, so, relationship, just you know. general. So we have, we have two ways to deal with someone that's showing, I would say, bad energy. One, mm -hmm. you just say walk away. You say that basically, you know what? I'm gonna show you the same energy. See how you feel. Mm -hmm. What about you, Zodiac sign? I'm done. And all niggas cheat. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. They don't cheat. She feels. She ain't there. I just feel like you, Merch. if you feel like that you want somebody else, you should just tell me. And if you don't tell me, then we're just going to be playing the same energy. But I'm not going to be like having sex with somebody else. I'm just, like she said, think that you, you know? No, seriously. Like, how are you going to do me raw and do another girl raw behind my back? Like, and then at the end of the day, if I don't teach you a lesson, what am I doing? I'm sending another girl to go get hurt the way I got hurt. I'm going to teach you a lesson so you know what it feels like. So that is not your like, problem. No, though. it's yeah. not my problem. It's not. Let but at the end of the day, when my baby... Let her have a talk to her. Ooh, mm -hmm. That is not your job to fix a man. Let me tell you that right now. If he wants to suck, you can let him suck and you do your own thing. Like, you're going to let him drain your energy absolutely yeah, fucking not and i learned that through letting so many guys drain my energy no you see a bad sign you fucking leave Shut up, no. you fucking leave so let me elaborate <laughs> on that like i didn't mean as in that's my goal i mean as in like you gonna cheat on me and stuff i'm gonna go fuck your favorite rapper and show you uh, and like oh, hurt you okay, that's kind of petty no but you do but that you're gonna get hurt you he fucked my mom so mm. I'ma hurt you. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. But you gotta understand one thing. Bro, I'm not. You, you might be daddy. Hold on, stop the show. Stop the show. Stop the show. Stop the show. <laughs> You gotta rewind that. Can you say that one more time for the people. My baby daddy fucked my mom and my sisters and my best friend. So I went and fucked his rap favorite rapper when so I found out. So, you boys are up. <laughs> so I didn't do it for him. I did it for me because I stayed with him for five years, three kids, and he's the reason our daughter died. Okay. But again, you did it because of anger. Oh, okay. 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 Whoa, okay. okay. This is a lot to handle. Yeah, yeah, hold hold on. On. Sorry, sorry. So I'll leave that. No, no, it's cool. She keep it raw. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, there's so much here that I want to ask. I so sent the videos. Oh, I sent the messages. I sent him everything. Pulled up playing the rapper's fucking song. Ooh, all that. Man. But wait, yet then you got to understand that, that one was thing. A petty, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you smashed his him. favorite rapper? Yeah, I did. But and, and like, did you like record it and then send it to him? Yes. Ooh. And you guys actually banging? No, literally me, the rapper, and the rapper's manager. Like, you want you want to turn me into a hoe? I'm gonna show you a hoe. And wait, I got paid for it. Wait, you, but niggas wait, don't should, care period. about that though. Wait, like, you did it wrong. No, niggas, niggas no, feel like no, niggas feel like that. Never wrong. Get this matter. Up, like, <laughs> no, he pause. did, bro. He I tried to kill himself. I have like, something to add. Now you know how I felt. Well, some Five niggas don't 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 care about that. Yeah, I'm not going cheap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Um, it. All right, we're just gonna mm -hmm. refer to it as deletion from this point forward, guys, just for YouTube purposes. But you can Sorry. say what you want to say. We ain't gonna we're gonna constrain you on what you want to say. Say what you want to say. Just you know, just use certain <laughs> words so that YouTube doesn't get mad at us. No, but you're right. Ahead, you're right. You I know better. But I'm just saying, I didn't do it for him. I did it to show him I'm better than what you think. <laughs> and you gonna cheat on me with a fat, ugly bitch and not treat me good when I cook you dinner. I I was a hygienist, bro. I went to college while pregnant. Well, he did nothing. Mm. And you gonna still cheat on me with my own family and my best friend while I'm giving birth? Yo, I can hold you. We you done. are truly a whole Avenger. You are the <laughs> 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 So wait, hey, like, what did you, okay. like, what was the conversation like with your mom at Thanksgiving? Like, that's what I want to say. So me and my mom don't talk no more. I actually beat her ass. I ain't gonna hold you. Not <gasps> no front. Like, 
No, she fucked my husband, bro. Like, well, you my mom. Married. Y'all were married. We were married. married. I'm divorced. Oh, shit. Like, oh, three kids married. That's some bad karma right there. Talk about trauma. Yeah, that, Thank that, you. I mean, honestly, let me put that out there. That, that's a whole different I'm situation. So Thank I'm you. I'm not that petty. And two I'm of petty my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm petty enough to really be like, okay, I can't. Wait, wait, what happened? I think you unplugged your mic. Oh, my uh, bad. Yeah, uh, nah, bro. And two of my sisters and my best friend. Okay. I'm petty enough to be like, okay, I care. Cause I I'm I have a big heart, so a lot of times, like you were saying, and like she was saying, it's a lot of anger behind what I do when I start to mirror the person. A lot of times, it becomes subconscious. Yeah. Like, let me stop trying so hard. Let me stop doing so much. You know, I don't realize that I'm doing it until I'm ready to leave, and I'm like, dang, I really did all that. Like, dang. I do feel you that. know, I like became that person. You know, but. I'm not that petty. Like, no. if it gets to the point where you're cheating on me, you doing all this, I'm bad. So I I'm didn't find of... out. I didn't find out till after five years of being married, the situation with my daughter happened. Then mm. I finally find out everything. He moves a new girl in as soon as I move out. All that stuff, right? And I didn't care about none of that. Like, I was Wait, already so done with him after my daughter. it five years to find out he fucked your it whole family? It took five years, girl, and the whole high desert. Shout out <laughs> to Vicky. Oh, they really against you. No, I swear. Years, I swear. I gave him everything. You feel me? That nigga used you. How no, he you? did. He did. You were told, but bitch. he made me the bitch I am today. Let <laughs> me go boo him. I hold you like, like, like. Hit me after. Like, like that's messed up. At least that you is on, messed but up. God damn. This you, this rapper. Um, Your family is. <laughs> is he, what was it? An A list rapper or B list? I mean, I don't know if he's A list. He has like a bunch of drama because he got two baby mamas right now. Mm. All right, Some tea. Is it our savior future? <laughs> nah, no. not future. Oh. He has two baby mamas right now. One's toothless. I'm gonna give you that. Oh my god. <gasps> nah, she just Blue gave face. it up, all friend. She gave it up, all friend. And his manager. Blue face baby. And I sent the video. That's L- his favorite rapper. That's LA. And I only did it because my baby daddy was the only dude I was it's with from 19 to 25. First dude I was ever with. Mm. So that was my first ever after him. Wait a minute. And I'm like, I'm gonna show you what I could do. As you should. And I'm I became who I am penny. now. I'm here for that, Patty. Wait. I just say, don't think about it. What did she, she gain out of it? Though? Life. Honestly, I'd get my revenge. I, I, I just got. Yeah, I, I just got. You said him and his manager. Yeah. Are we talking WAC 100? No, nah, we talking NY Bravo. Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh God. Okay, and then my. And last then his one. security, Bodie. <gasps> did you, did y'all go to for the? Uh, did you guys get the five five five? Look, uh, I ain't gonna hold you. Nice. It was the best I ever had. Ooh. Like, we even fucked a stripper together. Like, and the stripper was bad. I like girls. You feel me? Mm. Like, I feel that. all I gotta my say is Jerry. Is, Jerry. Did, did he take you on uh, a rich nigga take her on a cheap date? Did he take you for the five five? He didn't take me on no four, date. Four, 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 he said he was gonna get me on that yacht party afterwards. Tell me why that yacht was a speedboat, not a yacht. I didn't even get on. And as soon as I left, as soon as I left, he texted me with his blue girl's address. I already had the Glendale address. He texted me with his blue girl address. No, don't already drop me already I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But he texted me with the new other address because he got two houses, you feel me? And he's like, hey, slide through. I'm sorry I couldn't get you on. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna go eat. Let me know when you home. I have a question. Mm. You said he paid you. So how much did you make? No, for real. I mean, yeah. I ain't going to disclose, but it was K's. But you, but you disclose everything else. But she's talking about it was K's. I mean, some people don't disclose it was what, how much they One K for him, one K for the manager. Yeah, shout out to my nigga Blueface, man. Two and K. they paid for the telly, I and I fucked you. in the studio. Mm. All right, let's uh, read the chat. Yeah, I, <laughs> hey, bye. 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 I got one last question. Did y'all go for the four four four? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I made him actually get me at night. It was uh chili, not chilies, the fucking chili fries. What is it? What? No. Wendy's. From from checkers? You nah, not checkers. <laughs> it's chili fries and like chili Barbies. cheese dogs. What the, what the uh, fuck? Sonics. I haven't been to Cali in a minute. Oh, go crap. It something was with like, high calories, clearly. Something with high cl- calories. I didn't even eat it. I was like, just pay for my telly, bro. Oh, my mm. God. All right. Oh, no. Paperwork is on the way. Hey, but I ain't gonna hold you. Blueface is respectful. Damn, he's respectful son. as hell. You find this? Oh, he was respectful? No, he's respectful. He's cool. He's dope. Like, nice. he doesn't make you feel weird. That's does, good. Does he's he a dope good? person. Does oh, he hella good. Uh, so <laughs> hella good. <laughs> <laughs> top three. Shopping, top three. Yo, the lawsuit is on the way. Yo, the lawsuit on the way. It's crazy. The lawsuit on the way. I mean, I'll hit up his manager or his security, Bobo. Sue me. This is not cool, though. I ain't gonna hold you late. See, Humble. I did it with his rings on his fucking dresser and the camel bed in his house. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, and she's giving detail. She's detail. giving detail. She's giving showing us that it's real. Wait, so, so, so let me just get this straight. I <laughs> hold you nine <laughs> inches. <laughs> nine inches. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't ask for that. I know, but I'm saying. It's not the show. It's not the goddamn show. <laughs> so let me get this straight. 
You're married to a dude. Do you mm-hmm. have kids with him? No, I left him. You left wait, him. Wait. Okay. You, you were, but I'm saying you were married to him. Yeah. You had kids with him. Mm-hmm. You find out he had sex with your mom. Mm-hmm. And sisters then you said, all right, too. sisters too. I got you. <laughs> no, 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 sisters no, and no, best no. friends. Wait a minute. She said, yeah, I. Okay. Yeah, I. <laughs> okay. So she goes, bangs blue face, records it because it's her ex-husband's favorite He recorded rapper. it. I didn't even oh, record it. it. Oh, he recorded it. And then you took the recording and you sent it to him? Yeah. And then I pulled up the next day to pick up my kids and I played daddy by blue face. Bing That's bing. savage. Bing I give bong. you the savage. Award. And I made him Uber me home from Glendale to Victorville. You know how expensive that shit is? Oh. I was scared. That's a two hour drive. God. Oh my God. I stayed this all is, night. This is, you got uh, the money. City boys versus city he girls. Probably, city girls are up right, right now. City right girls are up. I have nothing, I have nothing bad up. to say about him. You feel me? Like, Bobo's always taking care of me. All his security, his manager, they're all cool with me. You feel me? Okay. Like, they're dope. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. Well, I, I just, I no, mean, no more. I feel like just there's the better honesty, ways to get revenge. I have to give a Don DeMarco for the honesty. No God more. damn. No more. No I got no receipts more. for after. No more. Okay. Right. Not re- wow. Okay. Go ahead. My brain is You gotta pull up the video. Okay, we got a video. Does <laughs> anyone else have something to say before we move back to chats? No. 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 Zodiac yeah. signs. I want to say this. Okay, Taurus and Scorpio are the best. If you are an Aries, I don't like you, especially if you have Pisces Stellium, I don't like you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right. I'm a Gemini. I mean, Geminis are cool. Y'all can hang. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I just feel like there's Merch. better ways to get revenge than fucking someone's favorite rapper. I feel like my revenge would be like bossing up, getting a Hell check, yeah. and then taking my trip, taking myself to Bora Bora. Like, nigga, Her. you couldn't do this. I could do this for myself. This is what you missed out on. I could have took you to Bora Bora, but here you are, fucking the bitch that you left me for. Have a great I'm not, life. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, fresh what fruit she on did the platter. Is gonna hurt more than you going to a trip to Bora Bora. And I got what? paid. Hey, Men go get yeah, it's hurt I feel like more. it's gonna hurt me. Let me, let me more say this. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. It, it, like you going and doing. That at Bora Bora, like men don't really care that you got money and you're traveling and shit. They're gonna be more mad that you fucked another guy. So and she, he technically really? paid for all my traveling. She really, yeah, that's true. That's and I got ass shots more. after that's that. Gonna that's, gonna that's gonna hurt the nigga. That's gonna burn. Bad. That's right. gonna burn more. All right. So <laughs> right. Crispy King. God damn. Okay. 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 Donald said, she has entered the chat. Uh, Jahan Twenty Bucks says it's two things I ain't ever seen: a turtle of speed and a bitch I need. All right. One up beats. Eli is slowly becoming one of my favorites. Okay, five bucks. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Uh, Ellie, Ellie. okay. Uh, Sibo and Cube. Uh, it's funny that the people trying to cancel you is the ones that was wasn't gonna watch you no ways. Facts. Exactly, bro. They're so, not our audience, so go, they yeah, can go go somewhere off. else, man. Uh, stay uh, over there. Honest citizen, thirty five dollars all the way from uh, South Africa. Ladies, is it better to have a low body count or sexual experience as a girl? How many bodies are too much versus a girl being inexperienced? Save we'll that later. one. That's a good question. We'll later. Uh, Jake's move lifestyle ten hours. F and F. What's up? Just want to tune in before the late, late night shift. Thank y'all for. Th- I think he means thank y'all for the crypto episode. Got a question. What does it vibe mean? Had a small house party and one girl told me your house a vibe. It means the atmosphere your house is, is nice. Good. So it means like how you make her feel. Is she like like uh, connecting with you on a certain level? So the vibe is basically how you make her feel. Yeah, the guys, vibe is him. The vibe is 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 womanese translation. The atmosphere for which you're creating that she's experiencing. Yeah, it's a, vibe it's a good is, vibe. Vibe is like cognito it. for saying she's horny with you. Like literally. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but okay. It's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's going there. Yeah. King Darius, five bucks. Uh, that 25-year-old has a deep Megatron voice, okay? <laughs> I think probably me. I think it's hot. I think it's hot. No heart, Kyle. Discrimination, equality, everybody gets shit. Nobody is safe. Facts. Okay, 10 bucks from Ezra. It's interesting black women will never tell happy, tell, never tell happy black men your mama black or claim they are self-hating for not preferring black women. Okay. Moogie Boomin, all the way from New Zealand, five bucks. 1304 called Myron a terrorist and joked about him being black. None happened to her. Shows that most women can't take accountability in society today. Facts. Facts. Or they send messages saying that uh, I'm happy if you guys know what I'm saying. I got a bunch of those too. Uh, buy one BBO, get one free. Ten bucks. This whole scenario of them saying you can't make fun of black women, period, is the same exact thing Dave Chappelle went through with the Transformer community. Jokes are jokes. Get over your feelings. Facts. Yep. And Andre Gutter. Uh, major shout out to F- FNF for keeping it actual and factual. C- uh, continue to let the female population <laughs> uh, where they stand. Okay. Facts over feelings, build a bridge and get over it. That's from Cage Jackson. Thank you. That IG Live is literally Clown World Show. Uh, Fresh literally saying hero is white. Five bucks yeah. one day at a time. The niggas are mad at me because I got a white dog. <laughs> Bro, what the? F- <laughs> what? Two, one, five. Black men to black women are still marrying around 87% mainstream media. Just happens to give more exposure to interracial couples. This is also an example of woke and PC culture we live in. Facts. Mm-hmm. Most black men are married to black women. That's uh, that's a 1,000% fact. And the thing that they get mad at is that a, a lot of Black entertainers or black athletes, etc., date out of their race. That's what they're mad about. Um, okay, Uncle Luke, 1980s. I'm a black, I'm a black American. I don't date black or white women. I like Asian and Hispanic women. So what? That's my preference. Men have the right to have a preference. Kick rocks with that political correctness. BS. F and F. Keep thriving. Thank you, you so go. much. 
Uh, and then we got RSG. Uh, 426. Yo, Myron, get a turban so the sh- brown SJWs can cancel you like they did Apu from The Simpsons. What the All right. fuck? <laughs> Michael Meestruck, five bucks, number one podcast world. In the facts. world. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are number definitely the number one men's podcast in the world. That's why everyone's reacting to us and making videos on us. Uh, Johan, Johan, 20 bucks, euro. After that live, I had to support Resist the Slave Mind. The delusion is deep in the see? society. Facts, bro. Yeah, hey, man, we're going viral with that yes. live. Uh, we got also as well, uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, Tom Chat. Sup, fellas. Uh, Tom Chat says, Fresh, what label are you wearing? Is that how you plan? It's actually a Bape and Miami collab, only in Miami. So check it out, uh, Bape, all the way. All right, Noctix, uh, Calum. Chris, uh, should make a merch called We Do Not Fold, We Do Not Bend. It's fresh and fit. By the way, y'all making up more... <laughs> Wait... Waking, I think he means waking, waking up more black people than CNN and then the Democratic Party. Y'all are winning with the say- haters hate. That's yeah, true. man. While the haters hate, exactly. We've been growing. <clears throat> and for Pierre, the thing is, this guys, we got a, a silent majority that agrees with what we're saying. It's just that they can never say it because if you do this shit, you do say what we're saying, you're gonna get canceled. Yeah, for real. But they know that the world is being pussy and soft, and everyone has their feelings in a you know in a bunch. And for Pierre, astrology is just racism for girls. Kind of true, though. Kind of true. It is kind of true. It's a way for you to disqualify men for other reasons. Yeah, it's true. Kind of true. Fuck a Virgo. <laughs> uh, the three kings notice how when that old man was using those derogatory terms to describe fresh appearance that fair guy said nothing it's socially acceptable for him to say that but was mad about Shaniqua's exactly that's the crazy double standard that we live in bro uh, Pill Cosby I don't want them to drain my energy Chris shout out to Cell Don, Don DeMarco, DeMarco. <laughs> got you fam Don DeMarco alright right, let's go to, into the video yeah cause uh, and, oh okay there's only a few more alright uh, the clown world's M- MLK okay. uh I find it funny that everyone knows what a mistress is, but the average person doesn't know the word for a man who's in an entanglement with a woman in a relationship. The double standards are for real. Yep. Uh, this girl's walking more episode. 10 hours by one BBL going Facts. free. Mexican yeah. chick needs to go on Dr. Phil for healing on behalf of FNF chat. Major trauma vibes. Okay. All the way from Canada. Devontae <laughs> Murray. Black men don't cheat. Hashtag. Facts. We don't cheat. We don't cheat. And God's from here. <laughs> Black no, men honestly, cheat. y'all treated me the best. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to give you a platform to say what you want to say. All right. We got good uh, to react to. All right. Cool. On YouTube. And it ties into this whole topic of, you know, getting back at your man, you know, uh, cheating, being with somebody else. So this video is pretty funny because it outlines basically in a nutshell, like how guys react to seeing others being cheated on versus girls. So and real quick, while Chris pulls this up, just want to let you all know, we're going to read uh, Super Chats 20 and up. 20 Thank and you guys up. so much for the donations. What we're going to do, though, is every time you so- donate a Super Chat, it's always going to come on screen so people will be able to see it. So yeah. don't worry, guys. Uh, we're going to make sure. And if you're a member of the of the uh, channel, you also get your um your comment shown above More as well. So super chat or a member of the channel, you get your stuff shown on screen uh, while time. we're going live. So uh so yeah, it depends on the member you are. If you're pretty much like higher than like ten, you automatically get your stuff put on screen. So it's up to y'all what you want to do. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. So we're gonna um. No. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. One second. Give me a second. Yeah, just hold it till we watch the video, and then you can. I think my got you, Oscar. All right, uh, All right, one second. Skip it. Uh, it was a little the bit swing for me. Let, let me see it real quick. Is this off TikTok or no YouTube? No YouTube. YouTube. All right, cool. <laughs> Skip it. Like um, back. Uh, what channel no, no. is this, by the way? Let's back, give them a back, shout out. Back. No, no. Uh, more to the first beginning part. Chris, what channel is this? Hold on, one second. I'm doing two things at one time. Um, or, it's, well, uh, what channel is this? Justin. So show okay. to Justin, man. Like the video. All right, cool. Um. Okay, fresh. Back, back. No, no, no. More to the beginning. Give him a timestamp, bro. I mean, you should have that shit done. <laughs> okay, more. More up, up for 10 seconds. I'm going to fresh. Cool. That's good. <laughs> All right. I mean, you could have had me play the... You know what? Sarah! Yo, what's up? What's up, dude? What are Yo, you up you to? Good? Wait. Sh- did you just hear that? What? Wait. I think my boyfriend just got home. Your boyfriend's home? You have to hide. You have to hide. Oh, <laughs> baby! Hey, what's you know, up? What's good? Hey, what's Again? What's up, brother? How you Yo, doing? What's up, bro? What's poppin'? Yo, Yo bro. Gym and... That's something behind the bed, bro. Something yeah, behind the bed? What are you talking about? Something behind yeah, the bed? Yeah, but I think there's something behind the bed. Can you go check it out? There's nothing behind the bed. I don't know what he's talking about. Something behind the bed? Yo, what? Yo, chill, chill. Sarah, what are you doing? Chill! Sarah, who is this? Oh, Pause real quick. Yo, what's up, dude? You can hear it in the stack a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It. Sorry, guys, about that static. Yeah, yeah, I don't it, know what it, it is. I yeah, think it's it, uh, um, go, oh, goes away after a while. Yeah, I think it's their video because yeah. I've noticed with some YouTube videos it plays static and some don't. It depends yeah. on how they recorded the the content. But uh, because like, when we play our videos back, there's no it's static. Fine. But basically, like um, but, it's a prank where like 
they're doing like a boyfriend cheating experience. So mm-hmm. they want to see how girls and guys react to people being cheated on. So it's it's pretty funny to see, to see like the reactions and shit like that. But uh, so keep playing with Static or no? What, what do you think? Hey, what's yeah, up? yeah, yeah. Um, man, what it's not on? terrible. Did you hear that? Just no. chilling, bro. My boyfriend just got home. Your boyfriend's yes. home? Hide, hide! Get back there. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo? What's up, babe? Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, I like the pink on you. What's good? Thank you? Yo, what's, what's up, bro? Bagel? Again, what's you up, always bro? on me. What's good, bro? Bro, I have to tell you that <laughs> your, your girlfriend is cheating on you. <laughs> like, someone's in it. here? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Bro, be honest with me. Where is someone in this yeah, room? I'm, I'm 100% honest, bro. Oh, my nigga. Behind, oh, no. behind this. I don't know. Behind the thing is I don't know. Oh, no. He's talking about I don't know. Oh, Sarah, are you real? Hello, are you? Chill. Who are you? Pause, hey, pause, pause, up, pause. I'm good. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. The dude uh, looks like a combination of a 15 year old and a 35 year old. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? he's, like, he's like the most grown looking teen I've ever seen in my life. Yet, yet still young. Um, so wait, wait, fresh. So the background of this. Uh, so is it basically the girl? Clearly, it's staged on the other side. Yeah, it's, it's staged on. They're that staging side. it on like the girl and the yeah. boyfriend, and then the third party. They're staging it, and it's the reaction with the guys in the background. Yeah. That's really so the, this is the a, organic a, a call one. Omegle, where you can like yeah. join a random video, oh, chat. Uh, video chat. Omegle. So they basically like just staging like a um you know funny prank basically okay it's yeah because i think the audience is a little confused so yeah, yeah. all right no, guys, so just real. so y'all know it's not real it's not real so it's staged on the boyfriend the, the boyfriend the alleged cheater and the girlfriend's part but on the other side the guy doesn't know so that's an organic reaction yeah. guys so yeah just to just to clarify so she's not cheating they're just seeing who's gonna snitch yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. yeah. they're that's fucking funny. with the with the person on omega and, and then just real quick ladies on the panel right mm-hmm. is it in your opinion, good friend to snitch or bad from what you've seen so far? We'll start here. What? So basically, right, two guys already like they already ride ride him out like ride her <clears throat> out like oh she's cheating whatever behind the bed. Is that good or bad? In your opinion, it just depends on who their loyalty lies to. Men typically circle within like their own community. Men have alliance to one another, so they're obviously going to say something. But in your opinion, is he right or wrong? To say something? Yeah. It, I guess it doesn't really matter because they're strangers. So it, it doesn't matter. They're strangers. But I would want to know if someone knows. Okay. That's fair. What about you? So I feel like he's right because, like, I ain't going to hold you. When I have dudes on my OnlyFans hit, hitting me up and stuff, like, when girls hit me up off that stuff, I'm like, girl, he found me. Like, don't come for me. I'm going to show you everything, what you want to see because I've been cheated on, like, I'm gonna do the same stuff. Like if you sing, if you're not single and you're doing this stuff, for one, don't get caught. Because if you get caught, I'm not one to cover for you. You feel me? <laughs> okay. How about you? I'm hitting the FaceTime. Boop boop boop. Hang up. That's none of my business. <laughs> I'm not even getting into it. Okay. I would do the same if I didn't know them. But if I knew them, I would say something. Okay. Same thing. Like I mind my business. You whatever you like, I love it. So it's <laughs> yeah. just like you know if. That's what y'all do because there's people that they've been in those relationships where the guy cheats and stuff like that and the girl keeps going back. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to keep talking to you, sis. You <laughs> like it? I love it. This is, no, seriously. Like, I'll I'm send a mind the my business. And then block them. <laughs> what about you, Miss New York? Um, I'm not saying nothing. You're not my friend and you're not close to me. I'm not saying nothing at not all. Snitching. That's none of my business at all, girl. I, I don't know what to tell you, girl. What if, it, what if your best friend my best friend, hell yeah, that's we gonna different. go fight that nigga. Like, yeah, we, that's ain't different. No, tell her, like, no, pull up, sis. Da, 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 da. Like, but if it's somebody I don't know, somebody I just met, like, and it's somebody I feel like is not loyal to me at all, then it's no. Like, I'm not saying nothing to you. That's not my problem. That's not my business. You don't have to handle that by yourself. Bing bong. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes, Bing even bong. with your close friends, you have to be careful because they will always, you know, correct it with their guy and somehow I you're got two the, close friends. The third person. Two. No. Not all, not all. If, it, if it's a close friend, I'm definitely going to tell her or <laughs> right. him. Either way, it doesn't matter. But I think in that situation, I don't know that person. I'm going to mind my business. I'd hang up next person on Omega. However, <laughs> I think a lot of guys would end up um, telling the dude. You know what I mean? And it depends on who your loyalty is to in that situation. I mean, for me, probably not. What's the morally correct thing to do? Probably tell the person. But am mm-hmm. I going to do that? Nope. I'm not even going to hold you. Okay. I don't know a lot of people in New York, a lot of niggas in New York that is going to tell the dude. I don't know a lot of many of them mm-hmm. at all. They'll okay. probably say something like, oh, you know, you might you might need to find a new girl. 
or something <laughs> like that, but they won't really give so the now, information. Flip the script. If you're out with a girls' night with your girls and she cheats with a guy, are you gonna tell your are you gonna tell the guy, the boyfriend that she cheated? We'll start here. And don't Ooh. cap, tell the truth. Okay, how close are me and the guy? Like it's my girl. I'm not gonna I'm not not gonna snitch. No shot. Okay. Not gonna snitch. Nope. What about you? Um, I'm not snitching at all. I'm not saying nothing <laughs> at Keep all. It steady. I'm sorry, I plead the fifth, but my as I say if my bro is my bro bitch mm-hmm. and I met her through my bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm violating her. He not even gonna get a chance for me to even say anything to her because it's like, you bugging girl. Like you know who I am. You gonna do that in front of me, bitch? Are you dumb? Mm-hmm. That's how I'm gonna feel. Stupid. All right, but it has to be like you know the guy personally. Like that's your bro. Yeah, it gotta be like that. Gotta be my bro, like Loyalty. my brother, like. Okay. But like other than that, if it's just like people, like if I don't know you for plus years and you, and like you're not somebody that I always talk to you my bro and i'm not saying nothing i don't care if i knew you from middle school like if we not close i'm not saying nothing that's not my problem all right that's an interesting point okay so honestly been through that situation um <clears throat> how i played it was because i gotta really think about because it was like a whole thing and i got put under fire for something that I really didn't do but what happened was she ended up cheating on him they broke up things like that I was close to both of them Mm -hmm. so I wasn't really playing sides I was always very neutral throughout the whole situation um I know it was something about he wanted to get like a tattoo or something like that so happened that guy was with her so I played it like, oh, you know, I think you should find another tattoo artist. There's different, you know, other people out there. You know, I'm not going to lie because y'all not together right now. But she's like, you know, talking to the guy. And then from there, it just kind of blew up. And then it was like, oh, I threw her under the bus and stuff. So now me being the person I am now, I just be like, yo, to be honest, I would talk to her like, yo, if you're going to be doing this and stuff like that, I can't really fuck with you. I can't fuck with the whole situation. Don't call me when he finds out. Don't call me nothing because I don't want to be in another blow up. Like I literally got put in the middle of the whole situation. Because you wasn't supposed to and say anything. And because I wasn't though. supposed to say anything, one. But at the same time, it's like, how I not say nothing if I know him longer than her? Mm-hmm. Right, and I'm I'm both. cool with both of them. If you say you and it's just like, them both, then how But I already told her about herself. Mm -hmm. I'm always, I'm that type of friend that I'm always going to tell you about yourself, Mm -hmm. regardless of the situation. I'm going to tell you my opinion, how I view it from the outside in, things like that. If you're sitting here doing certain things and making them meet, that's your fuck up. Now, if I don't want him to be, that's my naive self. I don't want him to be in that situation where it blows up and now you in the heat. And it could be a dangerous situation where he might even put his hands on you. So I said, hey, just exclude yourself from even going to that guy to do your tattoo. I was trying, like how I was viewing it, was trying to neutralize the situation on the outside. Yeah, in a way it was like, you know, people not dumb. You two and two together. Oh, he and then assumptions. People, you know, work on that stuff or whatever. But at the same time, it's just like nowadays... I'm going to just exclude myself from the whole situation. Like, look, you know, he no fool. Duh, 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 duh. If shit go down, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't cry on my shoulder. Don't none of that because we already had this conversation and you're dumb enough to even have these men meet. Right. Like, right. you got to think about it. You got to <clears throat> think about it like this, right? Like, it's like if you wasn't there, then what you think would have happened? If you didn't tell him, then what would have happened? She would have found out originally. He would have, I mean, he would have found out originally. The partners... They're gonna whatever is done in the dark is gonna come to the light always. Of course. But I don't feel like that's anybody's position to tell them. It's gonna happen. It, they're gonna find out well, no on. matter if it's years or I, I wanna hear I want something yeah. first before you, you give the statement. Go ahead. Honestly, it's a hard one. I, I don't know what to say. I don't wanna I wanna stick with the same answer. <laughs> if it was if I knew them, I would say something, male or female. If I didn't know them, I would keep my mouth shut. Okay. That was easy. What about you? Honestly, you never know what kind of relationship they have. It could be open and they, the boyfriend or girlfriend is cool with that. So I really wouldn't say anything because I don't want to 
them to be throw, throw it in my face like, bitch, you don't even know my relationship. We have an open relationship. Mind your business. Drink your drink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. What about you? So, like, with me, I feel like I'm jaded because of my past situation, obviously. Ain't oh, nobody told me nothing. <laughs> you know, need Maury. But ain't nobody <laughs> told me nothing. So now I'm in that level where my best my best friend was someone who was contributing and hurting me. So when it comes to trusting people, like, at the end of the day, my philosophy is your problem ain't my problem. I ain't going to tell your man, but don't come to me crying about it okay. at the end of the day. Yeah, that's how I am. You know what you sign yourself up for. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been put in this position before. Um, so I was raised in the church. Uh, so kind of like a conflict resolution thing that they had going for us is like if you sin, quote unquote, um, you would talk to the person and then give them a, like an amount of time. Like, OK, I see what you did and that was really fucked up of you. Um, I'm going to give you five days to talk to him about it before I do. Like if I knew him well enough. Mm. You know, and if I didn't know him well enough, it's like, OK, I'm going to talk to you like you can either stop doing that and we can continue our relationship, our friendship, or you don't say anything to him. And I can just go ahead and get on because I morally can't be around stuff like that. You're putting me in a position. You know, I feel like it's disrespectful. Do that. Cheat on your own time. No, I feel that like if it's someone you're close with, like dude wise and you see this girl, even if she's your homegirl, she's sucking the energy and stuff like yeah. You want to give her advice, but at the same time, it's not your place to intervene because they're going to keep going back until they're done with it themselves. Yeah. I just find it funny because, like, guys immediately would be like, yo, bro, this is happening. But a lot of girls would be like, hey, girl code, I ain't saying shit. So it's just funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I've come to realize is that when, women are way more prone to helping each other when it comes to, like, um, intersexual dynamics yeah. than men are. Like, dudes won't help you out unless he knows you. But a chick will help out a girl she might not know or whatever. Because, you know, women are the more vulnerable sex. So they tend to be operating in packs anyway. So I just feel like for guys, integrity is pretty much going to be there some for, for the most part. So it goes like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to say shit because that's my girl. So like, fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, it, it just comes down to like kind of, you, you know, who, what kind of person you are as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I, I, I will say that like there's I think at least from my experience of talking to women, like women are more likely to band together when they don't know each other than men are. Men mm -hmm. aren't going to necessarily band together because for men, we don't necessarily need strength in numbers the same way women utilize it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like women is kind of like, there's this, in, uh, I call it like an invisible veil. Uh, the sisterhood is Roland Tomasi would yeah. say, where like girls are going to take up for each other, even if they're in the wrong. You know what? That Asian doll example, <laughs> perfect example. This chick interrupted six, seven times before she even got there. And she still was sitting there defending someone that didn't deserve to get defended or whatever. Look at the movie. But that's the female Uber Alice. You know what I'm saying? Girls trip the movie. You know? It's all over. Girls, <laughs> girls will defend each other. Wait, but, um, even when they're wrong, bro. Wait, Fresh, you saw uh, Girls Trip? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. Uh, like the video, guys. Against my will. Um, <laughs> so we'll put a video a little bit longer and then... Right. Um, and then chats? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, let me just pull it up. And this then we got another video too, right? Uh, I'll save it for another... Episode because okay. this, this one ties into what we're saying. Kind okay, of. cool. Bro, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Hey, hey, hey hoodie bro. gang. You know what I'm saying? Wait, hoodie gang, hoodie gang, bro. What? what? My boyfriend just got home. Stop. You're you're joking. Joking. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Pretend it's just me. Yeah, I, I, won't, I won't tell your boyfriend anything. Okay. What's up, man? Oh, you're on Amigo? No, yeah. bro. What's up, dude? No, bro. Your girl's cheating on you, fam. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you're a snake. Straight off. What? Check. Right there, bro. Check. Yeah. Are you no, there's nothing there. No! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Yo, what's up? Ah, uh, you okay? Yo, uh, I like the LED lights you got going Wait, on. Did you hear that? What? My boyfriend just got home. Your boyfriend? Hide, 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 hide. Go over there, over there. Just pretend <laughs> it's just me. Can she okay. snitch? No, I don't think, think she can snitch. What's up, babe? Hey, what's up? What's pop, just on a wiggle. Oh, oh, hey, what's good? What? Um, Look, go look at the back of the room. Oh, why? Oh, She's why? What's good? Uh, what a kind. No, there's nothing there. What? There's nothing there. Why are you going? Yo, what? Sarah, who is this? Yo, who are you? Drama. Who? What's pop? Dang, you got like a whole crowd. Did you hear that? What? My boyfriend just got home. You have to hide. Hide. You're back there. Yes. Oh my God. Just act like it was just me, please. My boyfriend's coming home. Yo. 
What's up, babe? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? What's up guys? Go behind you right now. Go behind me? Damn, they cutting in. Yeah. They, they cutting up. up. They, they, they oh, was rushing. There's nothing behind Why? Me. Don't do a climb with them. They was anxious. The There's nothing there. Behind the I don't know what. Yo! Who are you? Alright, thank you guys so much right, for watching. Stop it there. It's their facial reactions, like yeah. they're, they're so ready to tell. That yes. was a pretty, pretty funny video though. So Just, overall, thoughts on the video. I think it's funny. I probably would have hung up, but I respect everyone that um stood up for homeboy, Mr. Boyfriend coming home because they are a bigger person than I. So good for y'all. If that was me in the YouTube video, I would be beep. Bye. Next person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's funny though. I, I wonder of the ratio who snitched and who didn't. I'll yeah. be one of the bad, good amount didn't say shit. Yeah, yeah. people should only want that. Reaction. Yeah, they get they give them a reaction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I just want I'm nosy. I'm not even gonna hold you. So I just wanted to see if he would have found out because he's right there behind the bed. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm gonna continue talking to you, but I just wanted to see what he, what would have happened. I'm a little bit nosy. I just want to see. I don't know you. I, I think that's nothing. a big reason why the, the people like just snitch because they're like, yo, let me just get some entertainment going yeah, right now. Right. See the drama. But like, I'm not. It's not. I'm not gonna say it. I don't know, sis. <laughs> okay. I feel like the people were snitching just to see the drama. Yeah, right. like just to see the fight, just to see what's going on. Not for like her that. benefit, but rather yeah, for their just own to amusement. see what's going on. Because just like the group once first off rip, she like, yo, look behind the bed, and then the other dude on the corner just cracking up, yeah. just <laughs> dying laughing, like they was just looking for entertainment. Yep. That's how I felt. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an okay video for me. Uh, what actually stood up was that when the girl told. The boyfriend that you know to look behind somebody here said the c word and i don't know mm. why that was c for word? the girl because she C U N basically told them oh con? okay yeah all right yeah, we, i'm not we, sure we, if yeah. i'm supposed to say no, no, it or not so yeah, yeah we are um, fresh to but basically <laughs> that's what stood out to me the most it's like wow so when a guy actually told the the boyfriend it was okay but when the girl told mm. the boyfriend with us it was not okay mm. no to it's me not it was okay it was both perfect. ways you're so that means if a nigga snitch like that that quick oh no i don't, I don't trust you with nothing i don't trust you nothing nothing mm. but it's not the responsibility it. to hold something a burden like that big Cheating it's not a burden to... you don't know them you you talk about burdens and it's not a burden if you don't know somebody How you <laughs> no i agree i agree know? with you 100 percent. however we're now just discussing the video so with the video is whenever the boy the boys told the boyfriend we said nothing, but whenever it was somebody, I, I, said, said, I, 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 I like that you. I like that you. I didn't even hear that. I didn't, and I, I, didn't yeah. even I was that. like, it's interesting. I, I said snitch. Yeah, I, I said. I, I still that. said snitch. But no, it was me who said it because she is a cunt for that. Like, girl, yeah, like, why, why, why are you in their business? <laughs> like, mind your business. Like, it was me. She's like. I ain't saying shit. No, no, no. I'm glad that you mentioned that because that is very true. That like you know, um, with women, it's like you know, they're if you like betray. What you call it, the sisterhood of Uber Alice, right? Yeah. You know, it's considered it's considered bad. Like, what are you doing? You're, you're right, bros you know before saying? hoes. We we gotta choose us before them too. Like, <laughs> but now when you're wrong, <laughs> now when you're wrong, absolutely not. If that quick, I don't trust him. He was honest though, but you don't trust him. You want honesty, so the fuck? there you go. Well, she's from Brooklyn, guys. You know, so what do you, what do you expect? Are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you're no, here no. stomping out dudes and Tim. So <laughs> if you snitch, you gonna you gonna fuck you up. Um, okay. What? Well, anything else you wanna add to that? Oh no, no. Besides, I mean, I just feel like kind? it was none of my, none of her business to be doing that. Every it, that goes for the men too. Like they, it was just really none of no one's business. They all cunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's now they're all cunts. They are, but she was an extra one because she was so quick. She's like, oh my god. She said, she said, okay, okay, and she did. She tried to act like she was trying to do nothing. Okay. Like Yo, okay. oh. she tells on nobody. Like, <laughs> shorty, I'm, I'm seeing right through it. I mean, like I feel like the concept of Merch. the of the video was funny, but like. The acting was really bad, so I feel like a lot of people was just snitching because they knew that it was fake. Like the mm. act, her face was so horrible. Okay. Trying to she pretend. was trash. Yeah, she was so trash. the concept was good. The acting and the presentation was horrible. So I really have a like legit opinion on it. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Her acting was fucking terrible, was right? <laughs> and no it's like you look at her, you're like, mm, you really have the ability to cheat like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna but, hold you because if someone snitched on me, I'm gonna be like, wait, hold up, I'm gonna try to fight the dude before he can even go look on the other side of the bed. You feel yeah. me? First of all, where's the closet? <laughs> Thank you. Where's the closet? Why yeah. the side of the bed where he could see you? <laughs> right. It's not right. Benji Mensa. 
Who just sits there and screams? Why not who are under you? the bed? Why are you not under that? Who are you? Esta traviesa. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, once again, I just feel like people said something because they don't owe these people any type of allegiance or any type of anything. You know, it's just strangers on the internet. So if shit goes left, it's not like you're gonna get your ass whooped for snitching. You know, you just disconnect, and that's the end of the interaction. It, it, it's like a bubble on my stomach when I snitch when I don't like. No, it's right, just right. Right. <laughs> and it's just it's just not supposed to be there. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm an instigator for surely now. So. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, so we got, um, let's see here. What do we got? We got 20 books from Tony Parker. I'm not going to lie. She went easy on him. He slayed your whole family tree. Facts. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, sorry. I'm glad someone agrees. Uh, City Boys, uh, We Up Baby, and that's 20 bucks from Ben Overbitch. Cool. Yep. Uh, the Cashmere Thinker, 20 bucks Canadian. Myron, we need to stop the show merch immediately. Okay. Uh, 20 bucks from Goose. Never did a super chat before, but I had to donate for the content. Shorty as well with the name drops. Hashtag Bing, Bing Bong. Bong. <laughs> it was one name. Uh, Cage Jackson, 25 bucks. Uh, fellas, pay attention. This is three or four activity. Remember, she is not yours. It's just your Actually, turn. What's your Instagram so they can, they can go follow you? My Instagram is Too Lit Brit. T-O-O-L-I-T-B-R-I-T-T-X-O. There you go. All right, 10 bucks from Pill Cosby. He made me who I am today. That ain't a, f- a flex pudding pop. You downgraded. What you mean? I'm better. I ain't serving no dude who's broke and not taking care of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 20 bucks from Tony Telford. Uh, these ladies judge people based of nonsensical <laughs> ideologies like astrology. Myron, God bless the rest of their hair hair on your head because I would be bald by now. LMFAO. <laughs> hey, man, y'all got to understand that just like, you know, younger modern day women nowadays put quite a bit of stake in astrology. It is what it is. Uh, buy one BBO, get one free. That girl's ex is still punching the air right now. In jail, because he <laughs> broke my back. So punch that air. Oh, he's in jail? Yeah, he broke my back. Sexually? No, <laughs> after I caught him. I after I found everything out. So punch that air in jail. I don't care. What the... Damn, so a lot like, of shit man, going this on. one is funny. This one is funny. Y'all really got like in a fight fight? I didn't touch him. I was in love with him. He beat me because I found out what he did. Like, but he was beating me for five years. I was one of those dumb girls who stayed. Now I'm better. Oh, that's narcissistic. Damn. Damn. No, bye. That's I'm going to own it. I was stupid. That, and I got out and now hey, I'm man, better. That ain't cool, bro. Ain't oh, no yeah, one going to touch me no more at the end of the day. All right. Dr. Kimber, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. What are the qualifications to be a hoe Avenger? This is crazy. You got to have all of them on the show. I got you. I got you, right? What are the so, qualifications? You got to be like bad. I ain't going to hold gotta you. Got to be a hoe? You don't even have to be a hoe because I really don't be hanging out and like fucking on people like that. You feel me? Like I make my money and that's my priority because I got kids. You just got to be bad, have good content, not be boring. That's our problem with the girls we got right now. That's why they ain't on no YouTube videos, no nothing like me. They're boring. Mm -hmm. Like have a vibe. Like we go off vibe. And if as as long as you're decent or cute, we can make you work, girl. Titties are titties at the end of the day. The girls in your uh, hoe Avengers, are are they like not out there like that? They don't put themselves out? Is it what you're saying? I've tried to get so many girls out there with me on all these other streams and stuff and they won't do it. But Soundscape, I'll get lit and be twerking and all that. I don't know. And I'd be trying to teach them. Like, we need new girls. I ain't going to hold you. (laughs) And like, if if my manager's listening. No, we are. And if my manager's listening, (laughs) get rid of the boring ones, please. Because I'm tired of doing all the work. Accepting applications. (laughs) Period. Y'all heard it here first. They need to replace some of the hoes on the whole venture panel. We need ones like me. (laughs) There you go. So if there's any hoes in the making uh, that want to join the whole ventures, uh, hit you up at, what's your Instagram? Uh, TulipBritXO. Cool. All right, Rod Eric, 20 bucks. Congrats on 550K, for example. Be the example, road to 1 milli. Absolutely. Thank you, brother. Uh, I mean, let's see here. 25 bucks. Want to start a YouTube channel, but I said some cancelable shit about trans people in my senior year of high school on a Discord server. Now should I address possible canceling attempts, double down, apologize, or ignore them? Yo, don't ever apologize to the left, bro. They, they don't want an apology. They just want to see you fall before them with all the pressure. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what these social justice warriors want, bro. What, oh, what Junior, you say? Day two of trying to get my dad's attention. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Fresh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hi, Theo. <laughs> yeah, you don't even look like me, nigga. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, we don't know you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> my rich. I am happy. I am not the dad. All right, King of Lords, uh, don't worry about your deep voice. I'm sure I can make it an acapella with a black ruler, if you know what I mean. Oh, shit. <clears throat> was that me? Yeah, yeah, it's, you. yeah. it's you. Oh, well. No, you know what? I like your raspy voice. Girl, Thank your you. voice is cute. No, no, I like it. It's I get compliments all, on it all the time on Twitch. So. No, it's no, no, super no, cute. It's like Tana's voice. That'd be like on the skateboard and stuff. Acapella with a black ruler. That's fine. Hit me up. It's literally what? just like Tana's ruler, voice. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what you think it is. So are you a night rider? 
Mm. I don't know what that means. Hold up. You like black guys. Do you like black Honestly, guys? Honestly, I like light skinned guys. I don't really Ew. like black guys. I cancel her. No, can, cancel, cancel her. her. Cancel, cancel her. me. That's my cancel preference. Her. Oh, my <laughs> that we were That's just my preference. Have fun with this. No, yeah, cancel me. Okay, so uh, when you when you okay, so when you mean as in like uh li like light skinned black guys you prefer, or are you saying like just just in general, like you like Caucasian men? No, because I like Caucasian men, but I really do like light skins. Like I, Chris Brown's so cancelable, but I think he's so attractive. Ew! I know. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't no help who I like. It's literally problematic. No, no, no. Okay, and then uh, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan. That is my man. He's not really light skinned though. He's like Yo, he's BBC brown. Gang, we he's brown. Today, yeah. But guess what? But oh, yeah. I mean, because here's the thing: like you're gonna have outliers, right? Like just because yeah. we had our preferences doesn't mean we don't like 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 we don't find black girls attractive. I've mess with a bunch of black girls just that on a balance of probabilities it's not what we normally go for it's not a normal preference so no, that's totally okay. get it. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right cool. but if, if yeah. the vibe also, is there you never know also yeah. you know yeah. i like i like my tom hollands you know my spider-mans my peter parkers you know <laughs> right. Right. Cool. Yes. Cool. yeah yeah cool. 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 No, that's great so uh so yeah with that said uh if you guys uh i guess she david hasselhoff's every now and then with the night writing so it depends so go ahead and shoot your shot. Uh, that, that reference, you guys are too young can to know that one. Can we read that one right there? I'm sorry to interrupt, but can we read that one right there that says you should represent? Oh, yeah, no, we're going to get to it. We will. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Don no, F. Sheer, sure. 20 bucks, super sticker. Thank you so much. And then uh, 20 bucks. Uh, well, he read, did another one for five bucks. You guys helped me a lot throughout this year about females. We got you, Don. All right. 20 bucks from ELT. You should represent your child that passed away a lot better than this. He didn't turn you into a 304 by smashing your moms and running the family. Hoes say the darndest things. You got a rebuttal for that? I do have a rebuttal. So first of all, I'm not a 304. I don't be doing nothing like that. My money's all internet money. And every Christmas, I take all the presents I would have donated or I would have gave to my kid. And I donate them to the hospital she passed away at. And every week, I donate money to an orphanage. So how am I not representing her right? Like, I have a whole organization called Serenity Strong in her name mm -hmm. that has money for orphans, for kids with no families, all of that. But I mean, you could perceive it as you want. I'm making money and I'm happy. So at the end of the day, it don't bother me. Tell them yeah. SMD. SMD. See, but if I say lick my vagina, I'm going to have 42 dudes in my pants. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. 20 jumping bucks. Like Jordan. Jump, jumping like Jordan. 20 bucks. Did you go to Silverado or Victor <gasps> Valley? I went to both. I remember you. You topped off my boy. I smashed your dark skinned friend in my car in the school parking lot. I'm glad you're on the podcast. Hashtag Victorville. Oh, so, dang. hashtag Victorville never went to Silverado or Victor Valley. I was already banned from all the schools in the high desert. I went to Sultana, Serrano, Go Will. You would have had me if you said one of those, but never those ones. Those ones were not in my Wait, school where, district. Where's this at? The high desert? What, what are we talking? Arizona? Victor, California? Nah, it's California. It's like on the way to Vegas before Barstow and stuff. It's horrible. God awful. One out of ten. Don't recommend. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. Malik, I left to LA for a awful. reason. Yeah. <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> Malik Nelson. Serena Williams said out her mouth that a black woman would have to be with a white man or happy to be successful in the entertainment industry, but they made at you guys selective outrage. Yeah. Facts, bro. They mad at you, I think is what he meant to say. Yeah, bro, it is what it is. Like I said, they're just looking to get triggered and guys like us, you know, they're going to get mad. Deal time, 50 bucks. You can acknowledge, protest against, and argue for reform against institutionalized racism in America without living in a victim mindset, by the way. That's all black people in America are doing. Nobody tells Jews to forget. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Bougie, 20 bucks. Myron, save her. It's a monster on her head. Get it off. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I just uh, figured. I don't get it. But Andrew Andre Getter, 20 bucks. Yo, Myron, it's pronounced like Jeter, not gutter, but hey, no hard feelings. It happens all the time. I'm helping spread the gospel of FNF. Y'all make women realize their real lies. They tell themselves, keep going in my DJ Cal voice. Yeah, man. John Thicke Castillo, 100 bucks. Thank you so much. What's good, FNF fam? Just stopping through real quick. Also, shout out to Ellie. I like the glasses. There you Girl, go. I told you. Thank you. Thank you. What's, your, what's you. your Instagram? My Instagram is Elizabeth E N C C. Send that dick pic, Jonathan. Do you like Spanish guys? Yeah, of course. All right, there we go. Uh, you a beach. <laughs> okay. Uh, if the girl want to holler to at to have... Wait. If, if uh, the girl I want to holler at have to ask her one of her girls to cosign sign for her to see if I, I'm good for her, the co signer should also be my girl as well since she can't make up her own choice. Example, buying a house or a car. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. Um, respectfully, <laughs> if you got to co-sign a girl that you like, don't be with that girl. Like, what the hell? Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, I mean... Top custom clothing, 20 bucks. Roast beef energy merch is a move for show. Oh, and then man. we got uh, 20 bucks for big mail. In other words, uh, she needs some city girls a part of the team. All right. And then last uh, three here, 20 bucks, King of Lords. 
Okay, Miss Deep Voice, no black ruler for you. You got to want the ruler to get the ruler. SMH, no nine inches for you. Oh, darn. All right. Well, <laughs> well you know, sure, okay. so, have it's you ever dated big. like a black guy before? I haven't. See, that, I, that's I why. Haven't. There you go. Yeah, you I, black, yeah, you can't yeah go that's what back. I, I was just about to say. We need to change it's, that. Yeah, she someone needs to change out. it. All right, give me mind boss. Hundred bucks. Two channels did a great show supporting you guys, uh, Dennis Sperling and Obsidian. Not sure if you're familiar with them, but you guys have a lot of support in the manosphere. A lot was exposed by you guys just speaking your mind, keeping it, keep keeping it one hundred. I, I thought we got kicked out the manosphere. Uh, apparently, we're like in a subsection of the manosphere. I don't know. Yeah, I thought we got kicked out, but it is what it is. Uh, we're in there when it suits them, and then we're kicked out when it suits them, allegedly. So. Eh, whatever, we don't give a fuck. We got our own space. Yeah, we got our own lane, bro. We don't give a fuck about the Manosphere. Uh, Sin for Rent, 50 bucks. Baby girl, I got you. Them Night Riders missing out. All you need is some sin in you. Okay. <laughs> Hit me up. And uh, thank you for the support, my man. Uh, okay, so uh, cool. I guess we'll do this. Another video or turn it to the ladies we'll, to grill us? You know what? Ladies, mm -hmm. we'll give you a choice here. Either we ask questions, well, you ask questions to us, or we play another video for, for you to react to. How about that? Questions. So, questions. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right. So, ask Video. away. So, ask questions. We're dating, lifestyle. We're here on the panel. You got two guys that are gonna be honest with you and politically incorrect. You got the chat too as well. So, bunch of, bunch of what's your idea? Like your actual idea of what a bad bitch should be? Since we're always asked what our ideal man is, like, what's your idea of a bad bitch? Mm. In your personal, like, not some girl who everyone could get. Like your personal, I'll cuff her. I'll take her. She's mine. Okay. Very Quick question, mm -hmm. Chris. There was a good question that came earlier in the show. Did you make a note of that one? No. About asking a girl about something, it was it was, it was earlier at the sh uh, at the I'll top of the it. show. I find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go, if you could find it, it was I think it was a ten dollars super chat. I think it was yellow, um, but it was it was uh, it okay. was a pretty good question. All right, uh, go ahead, fresh. Yeah. So uh, you're saying, you're asking for my my definition of like a bad chick, like like your dream stuff? girl. In other words, <laughs> um, I would just say like someone that understands my lifestyle, that's considerate, um, also adds value to my life. So for example, let's say I'm doing a podcast, right, mm -hmm. and like. My dog is at home alone. All right, I got you, babe. I'm going to watch the dog, take him out. Just simple simple things like that. Like, I see, okay, you know what? She's helping me with things that I need in life. Right. Versus, like, like calling, oh, where you at? Why are you not home? You know, just just, just not being annoying. Really? So having that uh, peace at home is important to me, especially with that with that person. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, obviously attractive, you know, uh, good looking. It uh, doesn't have to have, like, I mean, I got, like, two categories, right? <laughs> Either you got a fat ass or you don't. But if the face is cool, then we can make it work. That being said, mm -hmm. I'm not really like particular in that sense. And uh, just adding value, you know, um, be considerate. And then from there, because because for example, like let's say like I'm with you, I got you. Like don't worry about food, where we're going, when we travel, I got you. So to me, that's mm -hmm. important to have that respect as well on the other end. So. Okay, I fuck with that. So yeah. you like girls with fat asses? See, okay. and who needs to? Yeah. <laughs> what you because, took like, from that? I only used to But go then for you girls. don't like black girls. Mm. No, 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 no. I used to only go for, for fat asses, but now it's like I've actually dated girls without asses. Like, damn, I actually like her because she's um, considerate. She's actually like, like, okay. So you're so, saying you didn't like the girls that had fat asses. You just liked them because they had fat asses. I guess because like it's a stereotype. How to put it? You know, you know, when you see everyone going after one thing and you and then, and then you get it, you're like, okay, cool. I got it. But like, it wasn't what, what, what you really wanted. Like, mm. I don't see everyone say, oh, fat ass girl. Cool, I got it, and it was like, all right, it's cool, but like, the person her, that that she was wasn't who I wanted to be with. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you just going off of girls with fat asses and then like them. So then now you found that girls with no ass you like. No, I'm saying a lot of girls that I found with ass, the personality wasn't there. Okay, that that, that doesn't mean that there aren't girls that are there with a fat ass has personality. <clears throat> I'm just saying like the ones that I found didn't have that and was they black girls because you I, I remember you mentioning saying that you don't like black girls no i did black girls before yeah so the girls with the fat asses was they black girls uh, some of them were mm. yeah so you don't go off the ass no more you go off the personality exactly like before it's like straight looks and i was like okay what does she offer me outside of just looks but what right. does it mean personality like in terms of like being considerate like is she respectful is she like like can i bring her on my, my friends my colleagues like okay. is she personable stuff like that like so give the same energy you want yeah, pretty yeah. much like yeah, I can bring her around and not feel like, oh, I'm bringing a whole around. It's like, okay, cool. This is my girl. She's going to represent me as someone that's capable of being around, you know, like high class people. people. So I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. If the girl's ugly, but her personality is great and everything that you want, you're going to date her? Nope. No. <laughs> for, for me, it's like, okay. she has to be attracted so to that person I need two first. things. Just good looks mm -hmm. and personality. 
Mm-hmm. Versus, mm-hmm. Because, like I said before, it just looks. All right. So, what if her face looked good, but she looked like a linebacker, um, a linebacker runner, like her body shape? He's not a champion. humble to opinion. That. But her <laughs> face is pretty. He said the face got to yeah. be pretty. If I'm, uh, because if I'm, if I'm not into sexually, then what's the point? You feel me? So, like, that has to be there and then the personality as well. I have one more mm-hmm. question. Sure. Okay, so it sounds like you kind of want a stay-at-home wife. You're like, oh, someone to take out my dog. You know, I got you. No. If we're going on trips. Like, he, what if she has her own, like, career, you know? Like, she has her own mm-hmm. thing going on, and she can't take out your dog or whatever, no. but she has a personality. She checks off all the boxes. Like, do you want someone that you can take care of? Or, like, is it attractive to you that she has her own thing going? No, my thing is, like, okay, I do want someone that is not going to be bothered. Sorry, bothering me the whole time. Obviously, I have her own thing going. Mm. However, like, if I had to choose, like, okay, are you helping me with our business together? Like, me, me and you? Or is it, like... You're doing your own thing and like you don't take from me at all. Like that's another uh, downside to see. Because for example, a woman that has her own shit going, she might not have time to like you know cater to you or be with you. Yeah. That's another thing that guys don't really like because like for example, I want you I can I can go out with have fun with, but like she's not always gonna be occupied with her shit. If that makes sense. What if she has yeah. her own business? Right. You know, like girl boss. It's a, like nobody it's a, can't it's a, just be it's a just, edged sword. just fall yeah. into your toes for you right. ready here to tie your shoe. So like, I right. um I just recently own my own business and honestly, if I have a man who can take care of me, I'll quit my business right now. Really? Yeah, I would why would I quit my business nothing. for? Or, Are you serious? Or, I would love to be a you know, housewife. Yeah. I would I, w- never I will be a housewife, to however, yeah. once <laughs> I would never Agreed. love to depend on any man at all. Agreed. Exactly, because they could leave. Agreed. Mm-hmm. At all. Um, it's not about that, though. You can you can still make money, especially now with crypto. You can be a millionaire, billionaire if you're smart. Yeah. You just have to have to will in and you have yeah. your money, make money. You don't have to actively be there working. But, so if I can make money like that and if I can be 24-7 with my men, hell yeah, I'll do it. But you just work so hard to get your business. You're going to quit it for a nigga to just give you money? Because for if real? he's giving me, it's not about money. It's not about money at all. <clears throat> it's not about money. It's about uh, the providing. Either he provides me security, safety, uh, comfort. Thanks. All of that. But like, uh, you want to do your own thing? <laughs> hey, you know? hey, ladies, 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 number one, let her finish her point. Number two, if you, if you want to ask her a question, that's fine, but one at a time. Don't all pile in on her and Hurt the quality of the show. One mic at a time. No, I just personally think that um, maybe it's because I come from a third world country, right? In my country and the way it works in my family. Mm-hmm. My parents are still together. They've been together for 27 years. Obviously, it hasn't been perfect. But I have that um, that ideal family of how a, uh, how a family should function, right? So, for example, in my family, it worked for you to not have two leaders. You only have one leader. Either that's the man or the female. But it's... It's up on the family, whichever one you decide. In my family, in my in my eyes, I think the man should be it, right? I don't expect me to work and then like my man just raising the kids. No, I expect my man to provide. Unfortunately, it comes down to money because that's just how it is right now. But no, a hundred percent, I would stay home and hey, raise the kids and, and cook for you. Most, and, of you? Of course. Most guys don't want to date a boss, babe. Just keeping it, keeping it up. I want to say something show. to that to that effect. I think also ethnically. A lot of, I mean, I relate to you in the sense of like growing up, my mom, so my mom is a, an executive chef, like she's a boss ass woman. Um, She is an executive chef at like this big restaurant at West Palm. Growing up, traditionally, like in Hispanic households, a lot like what you were saying, um, my dad probably picked my mom for her looks, blah, 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 what have you. She was stay at home mom, but not necessarily in the like oh i'm relying on him for money because he did provide all of the money and we were financially very well off um prior to the recession um she actually was an asset to his bit like to his business Mm -hmm. so like you being a boss like you can be a boss babe under your man's company as well that's you know you don't have to do two completely separate things um I feel like March. we got that law passed back in, I don't know, 1800s, that women can vote. <laughs> and I feel like we should use our rights. And I feel like we should be bosses. And it should not always be a man being a boss. I feel like women March. should be bosses. And y'all both can do it. I don't feel like one March. just is supposed to do it. And you're supposed to help your... No, I feel like both can March. do it. I don't feel like a woman should be... A- 
I don't feel like a woman should depend on a nigga at all. I feel like a woman, what a nigga does for you is supposed to be a bonus. And that's just supposed to, whatever bonus y'all get, y'all can do it together. But you still have your stuff on the side. Mm -hmm. You still have your business that you work for. And you still have your own thing going. I don't believe in you sitting there and letting a nigga take care of you. At all. That could be a plus. He could still I, take care of you. I still want a nigga to take well, care you're of you. That, that no, no, no. You're changing the conversation how you want it to fit for you. I did not say that at all. I didn't say you that. You said oh, you'll quit your business. I will quit my business. If a man will. He's depend taking care of you. Women should have the choice to do either or. Again, again, mm -hmm. it's not about the money. The it's about if I want to be with that guy, right? I cannot be. I cannot be committed to him 100% if I have a business to run, if I have clients, if I have kids, if Facts. I have this, if I like, I can't, mm -hmm. you know? So in order for me to be uh, an example mother, which for, I want to be a mother, you know, to me, that's, that's my success as a female. If I have created a fam uh, family, to me, that's what success is. It's not about money. It's not about a business. I mean, obviously it's great because I'm in Miami taking advantage of the city. I think I'm smart for the age that I am. So I have to take advantage of all of this. But if I had the man to tell me, like, you know, and he fits my, the type of man that I know would take care of me emotionally, spiritually, physically, then I would 100%, like, right now, quit. Okay. Because, again, I will help him in whatever it is that he needs to provide for me. This is how I see it. As long as I am keeping my man inspired, he will always be giving me times 10 times more right so i don't mind being submissive to my man like i i, I really don't you know oh, i just man. need to inspire him for him to bring the masculinity for me like the protection everything i need to be taken care of and yeah i, I do understand my job. but so, i just quick, disagree quick question uh, quick, uh, <laughs> drop the mic yeah she hit a lot of facts okay, so so um you had something that you want to say and i see that you had your hand too mm -hmm. so go ahead i don't know i just feel like i was in a relationship a few years ago and I was kind of like that. This was before I started my Twitch stream and everything. Yeah. And I was just so into the relationship and he had his own things going and I was always catering to him and I got fucking bored. And I was like, I need a hobby. Because he was know? a beta male. That's yeah, why he, he got bored. He, well, yeah. Because mm -hmm. he, he, he would not get bored he with was, a real man. But, I mean. And that's probably fair. He fucking sucked. But at the end of the day, I feel like, yeah, maybe you don't need a business. Like, you can be the mother of his children and depend on him financially. But, like, you need a fucking hobby. Or you're gonna be yeah. sitting in the house. Well, I'm not just saying you should sit at home and do nothing. Sex. No, like, she, she's, like, she's just saying that like the the I want to say the brunt of her time is spent raising the family. The, you can have hobbies. You could do. Of course, thing, I'm saying, not saying yeah. you should be locked at home, do nothing. No, big, absolutely you not. Can't, you can't serve two masters. Either you're serving your man and your family, or your, your career. Why and, do I have to serve someone? Can't we just be partners in a relationship? No, I mean, it, but it, that's it is life. about unity. No, I agree. This is about that's life. We're all serving something. No two CEOs. There's only one CEO or one boss, right? So if you have a, a career, a job, you have two masters. Now, at some point, you got to choose. Either you work together on a business, which is like, cool, cool, I want to say cool existing, or one or the other. But to make it work, you got to choose one or the other. I mean, aren't you guys together on a business, right? Like, like why, like, why, like, any partnership, it doesn't have to be one is higher than the other. It can be a 50-50 deal. Right. We both raise the kids. We both do our chores. We both are human beings But it, that can, it cannot other. be, though, See, that it, you're saying you should why have not? two leaders. Why not? Because why don't you have two presidents in exactly. running America it right now? Paper, you can't. But, but you have right. a vice president. Exactly. That's why you have a paper, wife. But in real life, that does not work. Yeah, and, That's fair. I just and, um, feel like if I'm a boss babe, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm focused on myself. If exactly. I have my business, yeah. I don't want no man. I'm just not trying to be a wife. I don't know. I want a man. <laughs> business, no business. I think a female cannot I'm trying to move to Washington to marry myself, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> so, like, to rebuttal to all that, like, I see where everyone's coming from. Because you feel me? I came from a broken home. Dad hates me. Mom's trash. But it made me want to try for five years with a dude because we had kids. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, like, I feel like where it is is it's not necessarily you're quitting your job for a dude. But if you get, like, support's not always money. It could be emotional. It could be, like, making him keep going. But as long as he's giving you something back, if he's fucking your whole family and shit, you in the wrong place. Get uh -huh. out. Mm -hmm. So to be a boss, like, I had to separate myself where do I want to do this or be a good mom? And at the end of the day, I don't got time to be a girlfriend, but I got all the time in the world to be a mom. That's why I do what I do. But if my life was different and I was raised different, I probably would have been different. But Sabaske, you feel me? I made it work with a loser and it showed me how to be. But everybody's different. Everybody comes from different backgrounds. For sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ellie, I got you, something you to say. Fun. Yeah, so, wait, wait, hold, hold on. Let, let Ellie go and then, you, okay. then we'll turn it back to you. Go ahead. So... Like I said, growing up, I have my, or even like now, I've 
been on both ends of the spectrum. I can, for a fact, say that my parents' marriages, their marriage was better before my mother was work- like both of them were working because she had time to focus on us, focus on making sure that he was happy and also being an asset to his business. You know, so I think ideally, I think boss babe culture, like if that's what you want to do, good for you. But a lot of women get screwed over by boss babe culture in the long run. Mm-hmm. In the mm-hmm. long run, a lot of women get screwed over by boss babe. I'm not saying don't have a business, don't be smart, don't educate yourself, don't get your money up. I'm not saying that. But why would you want to do more work than you have to do? Exactly. Because <laughs> I did it. Because it came from me. Because I set a goal and I actually did it. Because I accomplished it and nobody helped me. Because this is what I did. I got dealt a shitty hand and I gave the hand to myself. I'm the one who started the generation of wealth for my family, for my kids. That's why I, you will have to do it. A man is not... I don't like how a man is supposed to be that the always the money maker. So you're saying to me, so I have to quit my business to help yours. You quit your business to help mine. I make way more money than you. Would men do that? A lot of men make more money. Yeah. That's true. Let me listen to you. Be honest. No, I don't. Exactly. Okay. That's, that, that's not how women are. <laughs> but that, exactly. that, that's so, how so, you would have to go about it. Like yeah. if you want that man, like if you're running a business and mm-hmm. you're making more than him mm-hmm. and then you don't want to quit that business, mm-hmm. he's going to have to basically be the sub in the whole situation. He's going to have to double down and be like, OK, fuck my business. I'm going to take care of home because my woman is being a boss bitch and she's out there making the money. So I got to make sure home is straight, especially if y'all got kids together and stuff. It has to be a tit for tat. Like it has other. to. Yeah, can't it's a both. one or just, you can't have both of the plates. Both. I just feel like say I'm your and then I'll, say your point and then yeah. I'll weigh in on this. because yeah. okay. this is very, I've been listening I, very close to everything. I feel like I'm just cut from a different cloth where it's like you should never depend on anybody. Um, If you got dealt a hand, I got dealt a shitty hand and you made that hand for yourself. I would never never give it up for anybody i don't care how much i love you i'm never giving that up because i did this for myself i set this goal and this is what i accomplished i did this you're gonna stay single for a long so, time I'm yeah <laughs> <laughs> We are like Hold on. All right. on pause. All right. uh, we're back. We're back, guys. Sorry for the uh, the thing. And then, Chris, do a quick little ping check real fast to make sure. I don't know why the hell the internet just timed out there, also, but Matt, we're okay. We're back. Um, give us ones in the chat if audio and everything is good, guys. Give us ones in the chat. Ones in the chat if everything's good because uh, this is very important. What I'm about to talk about here because no one at the table is wrong. Okay. That is true. No one at the table is actually wrong, surprisingly, despite what people <laughs> may think with the personal belief system. What mm-hmm. uh, what's what's the uh, we got ones? Yeah. Oh, once. One second. Yeah. One. Yeah. 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 Once. All right. Cool. Once. We're All right. We're we're good. So okay. Uh. So there there's a lot of different mindsets here at the table, which is fantastic. Real quick. How old are you? Twenty five. You? Twenty two. Okay. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Chris. Uh, it's on me. What the fuck is that? My phone. Yeah. Oh, uh, probably my phone. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, Uh-oh. guys. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're back. And then um, how old are you, Ellie? Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty five. I'm 22, but I'll be 23 this month. Okay. Um, and then you? 25. 25. Okay, so you're the oldest at the table. At I think so. Okay, which which isn't that old, but but this I've always said it in tw- in, the, in your 20s, each year is almost dog years for a woman, especially yeah, for personal development and just igno- uh, understanding certain things. So here's the thing, and just out of curiosity, did you come from a Muslim background? Yes. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, because Albanians have a lot of there's a lot of Muslims mm-hmm. there. So. Here's the thing that I want to let women know, and I think this is especially here in the West, the United States, etc. You know, we kind of we tell women that they can have it all. They can get a career. They can make this money. They could be a boss. And then while doing all of that, they can attract a man on their caliber. That's also a boss that's going to be OK with them being a boss and them working together in some kind of partnership, as you would say. And I'm here to tell you guys. Uh, nope. That's not the way the world works. OK. Men that are uh, successful hyper-masculine, competitive, et cetera, they're going to want a feminine, submissive woman. And the problem is that so many women want to be married, but they don't want to necessarily be wives. And the reality is this. As a wife, by default of definition of your title, you are in a support role. You are to augment that man's uh, 
Castle and help him with what he has going on. So if you want to be a wife, you're going to have to concede and give up certain things to help that man excel. Because here's the reality. When a man's in a leadership position and thriving, you're going to thrive as a byproduct of being with him. But if a woman is in a leadership position, as you were describing earlier, where you're thriving, you don't want that guy to thrive with you. You're going to find a man that can compete with you. That's the difference between men and women. Women are incapable of leading men, typically, especially if they're of lower socioeconomic status than themselves. Men, though, are okay with that. Women don't like to share their excess resources. Men are built to do it. So what she's describing is the reason why she's willing to quit her business in pursuit of a family is because she understands that her gift in humanity is to be able to bear children and bring family, uh, br bring a man a family. That's her role. And honestly, we have the numbers to show it. Women tend to be happier when they're married and have children versus chasing a career. The thing is this, you guys are young right now, so you don't understand this yet. But I'm telling you, as you get older, your mindset is going to start to change. Your biological clock is going to start ticking. You're going to realize, damn, I'm about to hit 30. I might not be able to have kids, etc. Now, I know that you already have kids, so you've gotten that taken and, care of. And I have my tubes tied, so I can't okay. even have kids. Fantastic mm. for you. But the point I'm trying to make is... You chose the wrong guy. Most women... No, you're right. And I see where you're going. Most women, if they had a choice, uh, if, you, if you took 100 women and you asked them, what's going to fulfill you more? A career where you're making a lot of money and you're a boss bitch? Or having a man that you love, admire, and respect and a family and children? Most women are going to derive that pleasure from the children. Because your career is not going to stay there and take care of you in your old age and give you something to look forward to. Women typically derive their pleasure from people. Men are more interested in things. And people typically tends to come in the form of a family for women. And they have the studies. They've shown as feminism has gotten stronger, women have gotten more rights, made more money, become more successful. They become less happy. Anxieties went up. Depressions went up. One in four women nowadays in the United States is on some kind of anti-depression medication mm -hmm. or anti-anxiety. And that comes from this whole boss babe mentality. I'm going to do everything a man can do, et cetera. Just because a woman can do everything a man can do does not necessarily mean that she should do it. For example. Women can go serve in the military and go in infantry, right? They can do the same things a man can do. However, we all know that if you took 20,000 troops that were men and 20,000 troops that were women and they went into war, the men are going to have a way higher likelihood of actually winning. Just because you're capable of doing it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is this. For the ladies out there, if you want to chase a career and get your bag and make money, fantastic. But understand that you can't have it all. The very guys that you're competing for, you're going to lose them to women like her that are willing to give up their career, that are willing to build a family, and that are willing to help that man with his career. Because men, especially super successful men, want a helpmate. They don't want a competitor. They don't want some aggressive masculine chick that's going to try to compete with them. They don't want that. That's fine. They that's want fine. peace. Yeah. That's fine. So, so as long I, as I love the hustle, but the, and that's I like when I set a goal and I accomplishment. I that's love fine. It. That's fine. But all I'm saying is that understand that as you become successful as a woman. You're, go you're going to become a victim of your success when it comes to dating and relationships. But for men, as we become more successful and earn more money, we get more options. As you become successful and earn more money, you lose options. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I just want women to understand that you can't have it all. You can't be hyper-masculine, boss babe, making all this money, etc., and getting the men that you want. Now, are there exceptions to the rule? Beyonce, or whatever. I know they're going to hit me with the celebrities. Absolutely. But don't forget that Jay-Z still cheated on Beyonce, and she <laughs> stayed with him. Because she knows deep down he has the leverage. She doesn't. She's old. She's not as attractive as she used to be. Jay-Z is in his prime. He's older. And he can go get a bad 21-year-old at any second. So she knows. I don't have the leverage anymore. I, I have outpriced myself out of the market. I'm too famous. I'm too successful. I make too much money. 99% of men cannot fuck with me. So I have to stick with Jay-Z. Jay-Z, however, has no problem dating down. And that's uh, a, hope, a hyperinflated, uh, I guess, analogy as to what happens as a woman as you earn more money and become successful. You will become a victim of your success when it comes to dating and relationships because the very man that you want isn't necessarily looking for you. Right. You know, I have another thing to add. Who's to say that you can't have all these accomplishments while being provided for? So no, you say, you're that. saying that you want to make, you're saying that you want to do things for yourself and you want to make these milestones. Who's to say that you can't go to school while being at home like your man is helping you I pay for that. your school who's to say that your man can't help you pay for your business you know like there are things i said that yeah she said that <laughs> i, said I that. don't know but it just seemed like you it's either one or the other it is you know it's either it, you it, can be a boss babe or you're nothing at all it, it is it is like I, that. I think the biggest <laughs> takeaway from what they were saying is that we're not going to give up our career for a man which is fine completely acceptable yeah. 
But what I'm saying is that the more successful you become, let's say you're earning 100 grand per year, whatever. You're more lonely. You're, you're, the guy that you're looking for that's making that kind of money or better yet, more than likely making more money than you are, mm -hmm. right? Because that's what women want. On average, women want a man that makes about 27% more money than they do. Mm -hmm. So let's say you guys make $100,000 a year. You're going to want a guy that makes around 127, 130K per year. There's going to be a very good uh, a very good chance that he's going to tell you, you need to cut your hours back. I want to have a family. Or um, you need to start helping me more with my business versus yours. And as a woman... You're kind of put in a difficult position. Am I going to concede and help this man and kind of put my business to the back burner in pursuit of his? I would say you should because when he wins, you win as a byproduct. But if it was to switch around and let's say he quit his job for you, let's keep it all the way 1,000. Any man that's going to sit there and put their woman in an authority position to run his life, you're gonna, your vagina is going to dry. You're going to lose attraction for Facts. him. I would agree. want leaders. I would agree, but it has to be the right man because a lot of Fair women course. will, will submit to the wrong man and then they're just fucking themselves over. They waste five, ten years and yeah. then you're done. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I made that choice before. I wasted when do a few you know years. the right man? You'll That's know. the thing. You'll know. That's the You'll thing. Know. That's yeah, why you, you I always say you know. it. Women get mad like when I, I say this shit. Yeah. This is why you got to you gotta involve your brother, your, co your male cousins, your uncle in, in the whole dating process because when you bring male counterparts from, from your family, they're going to be able to see red flags that yeah. you might not necessarily yeah. pick up on from the beginning. So um, I get where a lot of women are coming from because since we live in a, you know, everyone is equal world <laughs> mindset, right? Or, uh, or Western world, the guys think it's okay to be egalitarian or equal, which in reality, like that sounds good on paper, right? Let's have a 50, 50 partnership, whatever. A lot of guys agree with what you guys were saying as far as like being equal, but that does, it doesn't work. Just like communism sounds good on paper. It doesn't fucking work. Well, yeah. Just like to be, realistically, let, someone let wants finish, to be in charge. Let me just finish. Right. There needs to be a delineated hierarchy when it comes to the relationship, especially between men and women. Men need to lead. If a woman's in a leadership position, I've always said it. If she leads, she's going to lead you all right to the end of the relationship. So it sucks because here in the United States, you guys got the equality and the freedom from feminism. However, the negative to that is a lot of guys think that you're, you're their equal. So you got to find the guy that doesn't believe in that bullshit, understands that men are men and women are women, and knows that there are gender roles for a specified reason and why humans have thrived for the past couple centuries is because of gender roles. So you actually have to find a guy that's going to challenge your mindset and say, nah, you got to work under me and not, you know, fall in with the slave mind that we have in the West where men and women are equal. So it's kind of funny because it's counterproductive against your belief system. However, that's what you're actually going to be attracted to and want. I think I just got to find the right to guy that yeah. makes it work with how my mindset is, you know, well, like, in order for I agree you to with half of what yeah. you're saying, to be honest, like, and honestly, most of what you're saying. But at the same time, like, I don't want someone that's going to tell me to cancel my whole life and tell me that, oh, I want you to bear three, four children. What about the women that don't want to have children and want just a partner? Like, you not say that guy... now, but trust me, you're going to yeah, want kids well, to get older. Well, why can't I just have my business, you have your business, and we start something together? We start a business together. And then, like, why that's can't fine. it be like that? Yeah. But, like, that. why does it have to be? So, let's say, I'm going to give you a scenario real quick. So, let's say I'm a guy, I'm a millionaire, and I... I I get you, right? Mm -hmm. I have my thing going on. Um, you're not my girl. Now we, I want to, let's say work, I'm traveling. I'm going to Portugal. Mm -hmm. So I need my family. You have your own business. Are you going to, um, to follow your man where he goes? Or are you going to say, well, you know, like you continue. I have my business. What's it going depends on, on what you've been through. Um, but I'm saying he's he's very well, you know. Like he's going. He'll out be there taking to care live, of you financially. To, what is it? He's going out there to live. I'm saying there. what happens with you? Like let's say you're your boss bay. I'm a millionaire. I'm getting you. What happens? I want to live with you. Do you come with me? Do you? And I don't live in Miami. Let's say your business is in Miami, but I don't live here. We will have to compromise. It, like you know, the, if we the matter, hold, on, hold on, hold on. The conversation's done. Guys like that don't compromise. Well, then, then, You're then, done. Then, then They're going to find a girl who has time. They're, but that's okay. not, it's not fair though. It's really life, not fair. Life, life, I, life, I, life, I don't care. Life, life, life is not fair. fair. I got to, I got to stop what I put my are. blood and sweat and tears in to go with you because you're a millionaire. See, I soon see, be see I can tell this is all about you and it's I, 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 I. However, yeah. You just said compromise, I'm right? Talking to, I'm coming from my point of view yeah. and from me. So it's always going to be I, 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 because we're talking about me but, and my thoughts and my opinion. Because everyone's If you want to be with somebody, right, it's also their take as well. And but if you want I a said, man... We got we to gotta come to a mutual understanding. It got to be something like... Hey, we have to, to... Hold on, hold on. Let me just stop you right now. That sounds perfect and awesome. And I don't mean to stop you to be rude, uh -huh. but this conversation is null and void because these boss men 
are not going to sit there and compromise with you. Mm -hmm. They're but just going to fuck you. you, got yourself you into. Stop. Hold on, hold on. No, no. They're just going to, this is what they're going to do. They're going to go out on dates with you. They're going to see what your demeanor is like, etc. Is she going to conform to my reality? And if you say, nah, whatever, whatever, cool. You are recreational use only. He's only going to fuck you and never take you seriously. Okay. He's just not going to tell you to your face. Oh, you know, you don't really cut it out. He's just going to realize, okay, this girl is going to be sex only, whatever it is, because this girl is not wife material. And, yep. and here's the thing, right. unfortunately, when you put your career and your money ahead of a man, he knows off rip, this is not who I want to be my wife and to be more importantly, the mother of my kids, because she's going to put the career first over me. I ain't fucking with so it. So how and, is it fair he could put his career, his money before me? Like, here's the reality. A millionaire is not going to sit there and compromise with you. You want to know why? Once you start to get with a certain caliber of man, they have the leverage. Mm -hmm. A man that's a millionaire, that's attractive, that mm -hmm. has his shit together, is less than 1% of the U.S. population. Last time I checked, there's baddies turning 18 every day. He ain't going to sit there and have a conversation with you. He's just going to ghost you, not take you serious anymore. And this is why so many women don't understand. So what you going to do if you was a girl? Them. I don't compromise with women. I'm going to say. If you was a girl. I will follow that man. Yep. If I know he's worth it. And I know he's a rare commodity. Yep. Yeah. A millionaire? I'm going to follow him. That's why you got to choose carefully. But hold on. Just real quick. She has something. Thank yeah, you she has so something. much. Okay. So I have like a rebuttal on every aspect of this, right? Like you sure. are so right with what you're saying. At the end of the day, you know what you want. At the end of the day, with right now, after being what I've been through, I know I want someone who challenges me. Like every day I set a goal bigger than my last goal. Because if I reach that goal, I'm settling. You feel me? And my goal is bigger. But at the same time, like... A man who really wants you is going to want you. I done dated bankroll, got it. He sat there, left his ex for me, talked about how much he wanted me, but only had me over at 4 a.m. and made me leave, only had me at the studio to twerk for rappers and made me leave. He wasn't my man. I call him my ex and that's embarrassing. I stopped pinching Mensa, you feel me? So at the end of the day, you know what you want and you have to... Life is literally like a box of chocolates. That's so cliche, but it is. Well, You got to taste every aspect of it and see what you want and at the end of the day i know what i want isn't a man so i'm not focused on that i'm not worried about that but at the end of the day you don't want a man who's going to make you settle you want someone who's going to challenge you every day not aggressively not in the worst way but in the way where you're going to be a you, better you yeah. each day the problem is you. that you don't know what you want though because if you no, do I know, know what i want you don't know, I what, know you want what i want if you found yourself and if you knew what you want you knew that a man i found is myself Last Why year when my daughter died, I know what I want. Hey, because hey, you hey. Have... Guys, guys, guys. Not... Let her finish her point. Honestly, this Thank is how you. I see it. But it's... Go no, ahead. Then, yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Then you, then you ahead. had something. So go ahead. Go finish ahead. your point. So I know what I want, part. right? I went to school for a bum who didn't do nothing. He was supposedly taking care of the kids. Got pregnant three times in four years. I know. It's amazing. But at the end of the day, that wasn't what I wanted. I have my hygienist certificate. I'm not stupid. I went to college. It wasn't what I wanted. I have no passion mm -hmm. in this and being in music videos for the game, for Outlaw, for True Car, for Blueface, for everybody, modeling, OnlyFans. I can make money sitting on my ass and still spend the day with my kids. I know what I want. It ain't no man. It's my kids because okay. I didn't have a mom growing up. Right. Okay. So I just want to add then, to, to, to oh, her add question. To that and then because, you and then I know you had something your, too. Your question was like, if I'm a woman, how do I know, right, when the guy's right or when, you know, when it's the right choice? So, for example, right? I hate to use you as an example, but... No, use me. Let's say, right? You found a guy. You thought he was the one. You got kissed with him pretty mm -hmm. soon, right? I literally lost my virginity to him and got pregnant that day. Mm. Right. That's why I stayed with him. So, mind you, you were young. You probably didn't know. But having the time period of waiting to see who he really is and to show you who, who he is is important because... Let's say, for example, right? You meet a guy. And let's say he's playing a part, right? He's telling Prince you Prince Charming. Truth, giving you a... Selling you a dream. <laughs> wink, wink. And, you know, you, you fall for it and you have a kid with him, then mm -hmm. that was a bad choice. But if you took the time to say, okay, let me see what this nigga really, really is over a period of time. All right, bet. This is who he is through and through. He's in, this is his integrity. This, he showed me who he really is. Okay, now I can see instead of talking, he's actually showing me as well. Cool. I can make that choice to say, you know what? He's worth my time and worth me quitting my business for. You he find your time. worth. And also, look, <laughs> think about this. Every guy you've met so far has shown you red flags. Either you ignored it or you kind of like looked over it for the most part just because, you know, you were in love, whatever. The point is that like over time you can see who someone is, but just keep in mind when you meet somebody for the first time, if it's, a, if it's like a boss, like someone that's actually going to be there for you, don't waste time. Versus with a guy that's not worth shit, you waste time with him, you lose five years, three years, four years. But if you meet a, a real, real boss, don't waste no time. Uh, no, and I, something. Uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, um, I don't mean when most, 
I'm talking about most females. Most females don't know what they want because they don't know who they are, right? Like we mm-hmm. actually do not go deep to figure out who we are. And we think that by self-love is getting our nails done or getting a massage. It's mm-hmm. actually not it. Uh, not it, right? Self-love, it's getting to know yourself, who you are. And once you know who you are and why you're brought to earth or what your purpose is, not necessarily you have to uh, find out, but you know, once you're in the search, in the deep, getting deep, getting connected to your higher self, that's mm-hmm. when you truly know yourself. And that's when you truly know what you want, right? Because you know what you want and you know what you don't want. No, and so, I agree with you. I agree with you a thousand percent. So I'm percent. saying, based on my observation, and I might be wrong, I might be completely wrong, but based on my observation in two hours that I've I've got to conversate with you, I can tell that, you know, you don't know what you want. No, that's Because you keep going wrong. back and forth. I'm, I might be wrong. I did say that. It's an opinion, No, of I know, and I respect you. But I'm saying, maybe getting deeper to yourself, getting to know what you want, so then your kids are also, you know, taken care of. Because, yeah, it's great that you can support for them and you, you, you're you financially be able to take care of the kids. But what are you telling them about the father? Are they seeing the father? Are they having a male figure in their life or is it just females? Like, that's so important. This oh, is why we're here important. in these conversations, right? No, this is why right. we think that females, um, oh, like we don't need a man, this and that, because we were raised with our father. So like we're hurt from our own father, let alone mm-hmm. from a man who is older than us. No, I feel you. And our boyfriends or our husbands. So that's why I personally think it's super, super important to figure out who you are, what you want, what you don't want. The rest just follows. No, and I get you and see where that comes from. I didn't grow up with a dad. You feel me? That's like my dad was in the NAR. <laughs> my dad was in the NARCOS. So I don't have him. The difference is I grew the up difference with is, my grandfather, my father. So the difference is, is I didn't have a dad. My mom was But what's your trash. relationship with them? I can tell you don't have a relationship with him either. I have a relationship dad. with both of them. I still talk to them. I still talk to them every day, every holiday. Um, but talking to them good. and having a relationship with them is different. We I talk to my mom every day about okay. what, what you're uh-huh. saying. Anyway, so, so many different conversations. Well, I'm sorry we're jumping from one to one. So around. anyways, back to what I was saying. The reason why I do know what I want is because, again, I did not have a dad. My mom was trash. Fucked my husband, right? I know what mom I want to be. I know my kids have a nanny, have a place to live. And they're living in Miami. What five-year-old and two-year-old could say that? At the end of the day, it's a distraction from losing their sister because my five-year-old was close with her. You feel me? And I'm not living no life where they're watching mommy get beat. I'm not living no life where mommy's not happy. And I don't have to go do a nine to five. I could wake up and decide if I want to work or not. You feel me? Like my life is set. My life is good. And I found out what I wanted because I grew up without a family and I let that make me think I wanted a family. So I got married at 19. I fucked up. I didn't actually know what I wanted. It took me going through five years of marriage with a fucking loser to know what I want. And what I want isn't a man. It's a life with my kids that I never had with my mom. So my goal is bigger than anything. Okay. Uh, And then you had something? Yeah, so basically me, her is having a similar situation in terms of how we feel about it. But like you said, you said that she didn't grow up with a father figure. I did. Okay. I grew up with my grandfathers, my father, and we have a great relationship. So it was a difference. Like, I was just, your mom in the house too? Or just or were they divorced, your parents? Um, I grew up with my grandparents and my father. It was a broken okay, so not my mother. My okay. grandparents, I call my grandmother my mother. Okay, so so your biological mom was not your immediate caretaker. Mm-mm. Your grandparents were your immediate take care. Mm-hmm. T- t- and my oh, father. So you have okay, a and then your father came, in, 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 like, you oh, would right. go visit him in between, but your grandparents were your no, primary. No, my father, my father lived with us too. Okay, so it was your father and your grandparents that were your primary caretakers. Yes. All in the same house. Yes. Okay. So it didn't matter if I had a mom or not because I called my grandmother my mom, so I still had a female figure. But um, I just like to hustle. I like when I like when I set a goal and I accomplished it myself. I don't like when somebody did it for me. I had somebody did this for me. It don't feel the same to me. Mm. I, I'm just it just really don't feel the same to me at all. Like and that's just the point blank bottom line to it. Like No, so. seriously, why are you going on a wait on someone to cash up you the money when you have the money? And in regards to the petty baby mama stuff, it's not about I did the money petty though. Money's the last Hold thing. on, wait, please. I did petty stuff to my ex, yes. But when it comes to our kids, I let him send them pictures. Mm. I arrange video visits while he's in jail. I always tell them their dad loves him. Like, I do everything I can to not ruin that relationship because I'm not going to let them get my opinion of their dad. No, Hold honestly, on. I can tell Hold you're on. a beautiful, beautiful Hold soul. On. And Re- to me, that's what matters. Real quick. We need Orlando and also 
It's twitching the building because no. you guys, you guys are really talking. So like, what's your opinion on, on well, they're, they're this? I'm just letting everybody else yeah. talk. Yeah, they they got it going it on in. here. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, uh, for me, I kind of have more of the boss babe energy mentality. But to be fair, I have a fun job. Like I said, I build Legos on stream and I hang out and cook food and do like fun at home shit. So I'm not complaining. I don't. I used to work an engineering job and I used to go to that every day. And I hated it. And I said, fuck this. And I found a new hustle. So if you can find a hustle that kind of mends to, you know, in my future relationships, it doesn't matter where my significant other is because my job's remote. I can be like, oh, you want to move to Guatemala? I don't know why you would want to move there. But, you know, wherever you want to move, you want to move to Japan. Let's go. Let's go to Tokyo. Like, wherever it is. I can be like, all right, pack up my gear, my little Twitch equipment, the same equipment that's here. You're like, All right, you let's made go. your job around that yeah. to where you could do whatever. Yeah. And that's what so, I fuck with. That's why, like, I would never really have to quit my job. And then, it, obviously, Twitch has, like, a shelf life. Like, no one's going to want to watch me when I'm 40 years old building Legos, you know? So, like, <laughs> so, it works out. Um, so, again, uh, I, I think, and also, uh, you were going to touch on this, but I, I think you guys are looking way too much at the money. I don't think you guys are understanding the, yeah. presence, yeah. The, 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 the importance of having that masculine presence exactly. in the family. So. You guys are looking at it from a financial perspective. Uh, I can do it myself, so I don't necessarily need a man from that perspective, which is true. You can handle the finances on your own, but there's a certain masculine presence that you need to raise children properly. You know, I've always said it. Dads keep daughters off stripper poles and sons out of jail. And mm -hmm. your father is there as a disciplinarian to let you know that there are consequences to bad decisions in life. And hopefully he's the one that's the first line of defense that smacks you upside the head so the police don't have to do it down the road where you get a felony <laughs> conviction. That's why fathers are important. So what she's saying isn't necessarily it's the money. No, it's the security, the masculinity, the, the, the father the comfort, ambience yeah. <laughs> that is put into it that allows the woman to be in her feminine, her submissiveness, to be able to thrive as the, 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 um, uh, Soul provider. the, helper, the helper to the man. So the man can go do his job and the woman can do her job, which is what the children, which honestly, is incredibly important. Like, I mean, Very you, you know, if you look at the United States, right? Let's look at the United States, for example, because you right now you guys have this philosophy where I'm a boss, babe, I'm gonna chase my career. I'm not conceding to a man. Fantastic. Let's see the, the ramifications of that though. Cause this is beautiful. We have someone from Eastern Europe and we have uh, Americanized women here too. So we can talk about this openly. Well, we have the highest divorce rates. We have a divorce rate that's over 50%. About 80% of those divorces are initiated by women. We have 90% of alimony being paid from men to women. We have uh, the most drug addicts, the most people jailed, the most people in prison, and all these people, degenerates, etc., come from what? Single mother households. Because when divorce happens, over 90% of the time, the woman gets custody of the children. She needs to damn near be a drug addict or uh, a huge criminal for the father to get custody. So we have the data and we show that single mother households clearly do not work. And as a matter of fact, they've shown that single father households actually create uh, far more potent children as far as like, you know, contributing to society. So, that, but that's a whole other discussion. The point is this, kids thrive when they have both parents at home. So it's not that she's arguing that, hey, um, the, the guy needs to support me and take care of me. No, 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 no. She understands the fundamental that in order for a family to thrive and be successful, you need a nuclear family. A nuclear family has a man and a woman, and the man is the head of the household, and that's how it's worked since the beginning of time. Only now are we trying to do this... <laughs> you know, stupidity, where we tell women, you're equal to a man, you can do everything a man can do, you can run a family, you don't need a man, etc. That's all cap. Because to, in order to raise children in the best manner possible for the highest possibility of success, you need a father a father in the household. I think pretty much every single school shooter, except for one, came from a single mother household. So we see the detriments of a woman raising children on her own, let alone if she's raising them alone in poverty. If she raises them alone and has some money, that's one thing. But if you add the other thing, a caveat of poverty, it makes it even worse. So all I'm saying is that the United States and the rest of the world, the United States in the 50s at least, right? And the rest of the world understands that family is critical. There's a reason why China, the Middle East, etc., they don't allow rap music to be played. They don't allow certain types of social media to be played because it's all propaganda to drive men and women apart. And we know that if you destroy the family, you destroy the country, you destroy the society. 
because a family is required true, true, to produce true. the best human beings that are productive to real society. Quick, we got a sure. bunch of chats that came for the discussion as well. Let's just read this real quick. Uh -huh. They've been piling up here but for did a you, Does anyone, before I read these chats, did anyone else have anything? That no, I, I agree. Sure you I, I, I agree. That's I why I put money on my kid's dad's books so we can call them and video chat them. That's mm -hmm. why I do whatever and I don't let my kids know how I feel about no, their dad. Please do. Okay. They don't know okay. nothing right. well. because I'll never let them feel how I felt growing yeah. up. I mean, I guess you're making the best of the situation, but you know, ideally you would want the father there. Oh, no, ideally if I had a Prince Charming I'd go right away because yeah. my goal is family. Understandable. What about you? I grew up, but not both of my parents, but I grew up with a great household. Yeah. I feel like I grew up good. Mm -hmm. Like, even though we didn't have a lot, I still feel like I had everything I needed. Yeah. Um, I didn't get everything I wanted, but I had everything I needed. Mm -hmm. And they taught me valuable things uh, of their mistakes that they did, so yeah. I won't do them. Yeah. Um, I don't disagree of what you're saying, but... As in right now, like probably later on down the line when I'm 30 or something like that, like maybe it will get to that. But like down the line when I'm 30, I expect my business for me to not be running it. I'm just me just getting paid for my business. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? No, so no. Like, and, and here's the thing. I'm not, not saying you too. Your guys' mindset is not wrong at all. If you want to chase your bag and make your money and be successful, fantastic. All I'm simply saying is that if you prioritize that, you're going to ha have to accept the uncomfortable reality that you might not necessarily get a family. And we know from the studies that family and children is a large predicator on a female's overall happiness and fulfillment in life, not a career. Women typically don't tend to benefit the same from having a fulfilling career than men do. Women tend to be more interested in their family than their career. And, and if you guys don't believe me, I know many attorneys, many engineers, many women that are successful, they have a career. Hell, you're a pharmacist. You, 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 you're making the six figures. You're a little bit older. You've seen it. Damn. I don't really care about this shit. I want a family. And that's how a lot of women feel. And she hasn't even had the kids yet. I've seen women. I'm a boss babe. I'm a boss babe. As soon as they have a child, switches. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about this job. I'm going home to my kids, which is, I think, fantastic. I think that should be the priority. But sorry, you had some? And then I'll read the chat. I just really don't want kids not in this socioeconomical uh, economical climate. Um, okay. It's a shit world we live in right now. Doggy dog world. I don't really want to bring a kid into it. I really don't. No, girl, that's you're fine. right. That's so, like, that's fine. I regret yeah. having them so young. So, that's fine. so it's really hard for me to have a weigh in on this because I really just am looking for a partner okay. and someone that doesn't want kids. I know a lot of guys want kids, but there's guys out there that don't want kids that feel the same way as me. Like, fuck this world. I think we should all die out. I don't like fuck this world. It sucks. We're all have I mean, COVID. No, she's know. right. That's no, why I got like, my tube side. So it's it's just like for me, it's really hard to relate because I'm not looking for the normal wife husband role. I'm looking for just a partner. You know, someone I can travel with, say fuck this, let's go to Europe, let's disappear off the map for And you're twenty five right now, right? Yeah. I promise I, you the next I, two or three I years. I really you're change don't your mind. wanna have <laughs> kids. And I understand you can promise me that and we'll we'll catch up in two to three years. I the thought of like pushing a baby out of my vagina literally terrifies me. What? I don't wanna fucking do that. Like what? worth it. That's like, the most beautiful thing you can do. <laughs> no. That I'm literally like, I have tiny hips. Like how the fuck am I gonna push a whole thing out of Because my, your body I mean, is magical. No, thank you. Yeah, love well, that your for, body's love magical. that for y'all. I'm gonna. Hey okay. Yeah, that's her opinion right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're that's right. Her though. Okay. She You're might, right. might not change her mind. It's fine. Get the real quick. Uh, okay, Chris, cool. You got it. And yeah. and I would and I would agree with you that if you're not intending to have kids, then yeah, like that, then it's yeah, fine. there's no. Yeah, it, you're you know, absolutely there's no, right. It there's, is what it is. Uh, okay, Emmanuel, we uh, question for the ladies: Who are you picking? Blue collar electrician, plumber, HVAC guy making ninety to hundred k a year, or a white collar software STEM cybersecurity guy making ninety to hundred k per year? Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm taking HVAC. I went to school with those dudes. They have hella money. I ain't gonna hold you. Well, no, but they make the same exact thing. So essentially, what the question really boils down HVAC to is HVAC are hard workers. Say, they can fix your AC when it's hot. White collar or blue collar? I don't care. It don't matter. Like, right. as long as you treat me right. I kind of like the software engineers. They're fun. They're cute. Okay. That's That amount is still low for me. So it yeah. gotta be a little <laughs> yeah. It's not enough. All yeah. right, go ahead. Um, Really, each. Either or, whichever one makes me feel. But which one would you prefer? Let's say I, but both same exact individual, both are attractive, whatever. Maybe you want the white collared guy. Uh, I can't. I'm trying to see which which was the choice again. Plum, plumber versus a uh, software engineer. Oh, okay. Uh, I would have uh, software engineer. I'm not dating a plumber. He might smell like shit. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. I primarily date rappers and producers. I'm not gonna hold you. But however, I'm gonna take whoever's gonna make me just feel good because that's why I'm single and or in this weird off and on stuff. Because if you don't make me feel good, I'm not gonna waste time like I did for five years. Okay. So it's okay. anyone who makes me feel good. White collar, and I'll say it's because 
you know, there's an expiry date that comes with blue call, like being a blue collar man. Mm -hmm. Your man is only going to be able to make however much money until he physically cannot do it anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. And then that money runs out. You know, you can be on the computer at 90 years old. It doesn't, you know, run That's out. smart. Okay. No, I feel that. Fair Physicality enough. dies, yeah. but brains don't. We got Bill mm -hmm. Cosby. Okay, Bill Cosby, I feel you're fresh. I seen this chick with fat cakes and I went to approach it. And when she turned around, it turned out to be a dude. Ooh. I asked for the digits anyway because I'm a real G. <laughs> yeah. Was it Nikita? Oh, you're no. wilding, bro. Oh, you're All wilding, bro. right, Sebastian, I'm getting an Eastern European wife. Western women are a liability. Ooh. Facts. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, and it's actually, I'm, I'm really happy that we had you on the panel because we we're able to kind of see the, the stark contrast between uh, westernized women and women from, you know, other parts of the world. And uh, uh, here's the thing. Women in Asia, women in the Middle East, etc., have this mindset where I just want a family. I don't give a fuck about a career. Well, you know? the thing is that I moved here when I was 15. So like 11 years ago, yep. I'm just so thankful for my family because my family is the one who is teaching me all of this. And the older I get, the more I realize how important it, it actually is. So, yeah, I'm thankful for for my parents. And here's the thing. Sure. Your mindset's you know beautiful. While Thank you're young, because mm -hmm. we've and, and ladies, I don't say this to scare y'all. But well, we've brought women on this podcast that have literally broken down and cried. 30 plus. If they're 30 plus yeah. and they say, I bought into the dream. I went to school. I had a career. I made a lot of money. I was very successful. Uh, but fuck that shit. I want kids in a family. And, and the thing is, is that now they're older. They're not as attractive. They can't necessarily attract the very caliber of men that they want. Because like I told you, ladies, the more money you make <laughs> and the more successful you become, right? The, the more lonelier you get. The more lonely you get. And I feel that. It's not the lonelier you get. It's like I'm 25. I'm 25. I'm 25. I'm 25. I'm 25. I'm at 20 when you're, she's 40. You're, the, the, it's not when that I'm you're 40. alone. It's that your likelihood of staying alone increases as you increase your income. That's all mm -hmm. it is. No, you're right. Because you get that more in that men ain't shit mentality. Like, I'm happy right now with the kids I have because I can party with my kid when she's 21 and I'm 41. You feel me? Right, for you. Mm -hmm. Have we got okay, Charles, Charles Giedu. Uh, the dude in the pink is a type of woman that I'll take on a date, feminine, attractive, but mostly smart. Okay. okay. Uh, 20 bucks, Wait, King of Lords. What's your Instagram? What, my Instagram? Yeah. Um, I'll give you my business. IV Balance Bar. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why I'm actually here for too. You're to really a boss. Out. I fucking right. yeah. So if you are, especially with COVID going on, please hit me up. Um, I do IV therapy. So basically just um, getting you up and going. Wait, so like um, after you party and yeah. stuff, I can go to IV? Um, you can do that as well, Give hydration, but mostly um, I try to at least focus on people who have diseases as most diseases No, do I feel start that. But if there's a day I need it, you yeah, can Yeah, let me know, of course, of course. All right, all right. after the show. Okay, yeah, King of Lords. King of Lords. Uh, the black ruler is an equal opportunist. It's for all women who want it. <laughs> the black, the white, the light, the dark. The ruler giveth and taketh away. Deep voice lost its powers. May she be left with the pink and purple ones only. Okay. What do you mean? Deep voice is hot as fuck. I love her. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Joshua Kimber, 20 bucks. Women who say they don't want to depend on a man are the women that are losing. And they are all cappers because they would go Dutch every time, but they don't. Men don't want masculine boss babes. Okay. I don't care. Fair enough. As long as we don't care, okay. I don't want you. But there's such thing as a feminine boss babe. There's bosses out there yeah, like, that know how to take care of home. Be, I mean, I, can't I get be the bad. seductive or seductive. Like uh, I can't be a boss yeah, and call you daddy. Like, <laughs> submissive. <laughs> you mean submissive? Submissive. Yeah, that's Sadaka. girl. I'm submissive <laughs> as fuck. If you're the right dude, oh, right. Oh, it always takes the you right dude to lead. Car. Yeah. So, so you guys are essentially conditionally feminine. I'm sorry, submissive and feminine, right? I'm super submissive. I can hold you. No. No, not at all. Well, that's just because how I told because I'm in a, a debate type argument. But like whoever like that is has my heart. I'm just. A <clears> heart yeah, and, and, and that's fine. Way. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. But basically what you and her subscribe to is you guys are conditionally feminine and submissive to the right guy. And I say, great. That's that's awesome. But what if I told you guys, let's switch around a little bit. You triggered my trap card. I wear a dress and heels on Saturdays. And, you know, on Tuesdays, I like to wear a gown and then every now and then I wear a wig. But, you know, on Mondays and, you know, Thursdays, I'm masculine and I'm I'm masculine to the right girl. Y'all look at me like, uh, what? Nah, it's nah. Because you being both. I'm going to put I mean, up with whatever yeah. as long as you don't make me question my beauty every day. Because I, I felt ugly for five years, bro. Okay, I don't like, know where we went with that one. Okay. But I'm saying, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying, you want to wear a dress, wear a dress, no. just make me feel good. No. You're, you're missing the point here. Okay. No, yeah, you missed the, the whole point. point. The, 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 the point is, is that if I acted like a girl <laughs> and was feminine, right, and wore heels, etc., you would look at me like, yo, are you stupid? Like, I'm not interested. Stupid? Like, what the fuck? Which you act like true. a chick. Like, Harry's not. Harry but you're saying that I act like a male? Let me finish. Let me finish. Bring this full circle. If I said that, 
right? And I told y'all I wear a dress on Saturdays and I wear heels and I do my nails from time to time. But don't worry. I'm really masculine. If the girl's super feminine, y'all will look at me like I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. But why do we accept that rhetoric from women where, oh, no, I'm feminine. I just got to find the right guy. No, <laughs> you're masculine all the time, pretty much. And it a guy basically has to come in and overpower your masculinity. And I'm here to tell y'all, we don't want to have to compete with a super masculine woman and have to overcompensate with our masculinity to put you in your feminine. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that when I could just find a girl that's naturally submissive, that's naturally not going to challenge me all the time, that's naturally not going to give me a headache when I could just do that? Like human beings always operate on the path of least resistance. That's just the way we are. Easier, better, simpler, right? That's why we have technology. That's why we have all these modern conveniences. Human beings are lazy. So if I'm a man and I have options, I'm attractive, I got money, etc. Why am I going to sit there and try to beat this masculine ass chick into submission? Not literally, but by my masculinity, I'm always having to be on my A game when I can just get a girl that's naturally submissive. It's the way she is. It's ingrained in her. She don't have to act and change and all this extra shit. Why would I just not deal with that? Well, I feel like, all right, so merch, merch, I understand merch. exactly what you're saying, right? But I feel like where I come from, merch, just merch, New York, merch. period, um, where they don't think how you're thinking right now. They don't feel that way, actually, because if you think that I'm masculine and I'm hard, wait till you meet them. I'm not even gonna hold you. And they be get they be pulling all the niggas. Wait till you meet them. I'm telling Here's you. The Here's the thing. They be smashing them niggas. I need you to understand that getting sexual attraction from men is not the same as getting relationship attraction from men. They might pull them for a month, a week, a night, two hours. Who knows? But that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna get wifed up. The girl, remember, guys. You do not play by the same set of rules as us. Our game is to attain the girl. Your game is to retain the guy after you fuck him. So what I want to ask you is this. These girls that pull these guys, how many of them got a ring? Oh, I'll wait. Probably none. Because when guys are selecting Actually, so. for a serious relationship. <laughs> you, I had to think about it. Okay. 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 <laughs> so when, when, when men are looking for a serious relationship of, with a girl. They're looking at other things like, okay, she's bad, but is she going to give me a headache, et cetera. Men look for different things when it comes to like yeah. courtship and relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm not knocking you for saying that, yo, I'm a, I'm a do me and I got to find a certain guy that meets that, that puts me in my feminine, whatever. But what I'm saying is this. The more money you make, right? Let's mm -hmm. say you make a hundred grand a year. Mm -hmm. Let's just do numbers. You make a hundred grand a year. Mm -hmm. Dude makes a hundred grand a year. Mm -hmm. Here's the reality. There's only 10% of the U.S. population makes about that makes that kind of money a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not including men, women, gay dudes, etc., married men. Mm -hmm. So you extrapolate from that dudes that are meet your height requirements, that are attractive, mm -hmm. that aren't socially awkward, etc. See how we're quickly dwindling down the numbers. Mm -hmm. Now here's the problem for you: that dude that makes 100k per year can date a 21 year old baddie that works at McDonald's. You, however, are not going to date a 21 year old dude that works at McDonald's. No. So you are stuck in that little circle of guys that meet your requirements I as a understand. woman. So since they have more leverage, here's the problem. You keep saying, I, 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 I. You need to switch that and say, what do these kinds of men want? Facts. That's how you play the game. You yeah. need to go on what they want, not what you want, because you don't have the leverage anymore once you re uh, reach a certain socioeconomic status. But we're talking about now. So right now, I do. So we, I right keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, that, no, I mean, you could keep doing what you're doing, you know, but if you want to get a commitment or something serious with this dude, you're going to have to play by you his rules and be an asset to him, rules. not a liability. A lot of women come in saying, what do I want? What do what I want? What do I want from the relationship? The guy's got to meet this requirement, blah, blah, blah. That's fantastic. That will get you access to these men. You might fuck them. You might date them for a bit. But are you going to keep them? If you you got to ask yourself, what do they want? What void am I going to fill for that man? How am I going to make his life easier? Well, yeah. And that's how you keep them. When I'm that's in the true. relationship, of course, if you're trying to make it out. You're making it seem like. Like when I'm in a relationship, it's just gonna be like I, 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 I know well, how. You said to it be. earlier. You're not quitting your job. You're not I, conceding I'm, to a man. I'm not. Which is fine. Not doing. But you got to be willing to do it, though. That's what I'm trying to say. You yeah. got to be willing to burn the fucking to. bridge to keep these guys. Sometimes we just, we just maybe later, maybe later down the line, maybe because I'm young right now and I'm just very amb ambitious and I have a lot of things I have to accomplish and say that I did it. I just want you so to think about it. So maybe later on, you, I'm just maybe I'm just it. a little bit young, maybe later on, but right now, no. You, you can do you. For the right guy. I'm just saying, keep it in mind. Yeah. So, can I say right. Some real quick and then. Yeah, uh, real quick, real yeah, quick. So I get what you're saying. For surely, I get what you're saying, right? That's why when I actually get serious with a dude, like everyone I've actually tried dating after my marriage, I always tell him, 
I'm on OnlyFans. Like, I'm not going to stop. If you don't like it, just make sex videos that we could sell together so then I don't got to do that shit randomly. <laughs> shit. See, that's where I come uh, in. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. elevate you right, by man. putting you on with my stuff. All right, all right. Bruh. We got Aaron O. I ain't gonna hold you. I think Mary fell in love. This is now. honest. Oh, I think he fell in love. No, no, no. I just, I just respect her mindset because I, I come from a similar uh, background, and you know, I think um, <laughs> that's the way it should be. That's the way the world has worked for for centuries. A, a man and a woman together in a family. Devontae All right, Devonte Murray, twenty bucks. Brooklyn shooter, mad masculine. <laughs> I'm not masculine. You just you, BBL. You know, I just bomb. get hype when I say certain things. She comes with the energy. Yeah. Big meal, 20 bucks. It's only women in the West that shame women who would rather be housewives following a man's leadership. The woman in the pink is definitely wife of material. The women who disagree are on the path to dying alone. Yeah. Fair oh, enough. Five, Brooklyn girl. Kings. Is it cool to use the term? I'm getting married, that's for sure. For Spanish people, since the Latina girl used the N word a lot. Oh, man. Uh, well, I'm not even Spanish. Wait, which if you're Spanish talking about girl? me, I'm not Spanish at all. I'm actually black. Just I literally black. never say go. it. So, right. which Spanish girl? Okay, Jay Martin, 50 bucks. Lady in pink, you get it. Very wise. With your mentality, you will be happy. Most of you women from broken homes are emotionally stunted. You were raised by angry single moms. It's made you permanently defensive. It will never lead to your personal happiness. Okay. I was you right. raised with a mom and dad in a very happy, loving home. Me, mom, and dad. So, Tom Custom Clothing. Great. You got to quit the victim mindset. Quit reaching into the past and complaining about the dang 1800s. The black community won't be taken seriously until we move forward and onward, but y'all want to stay in the past. Ooh. Tell them send a pic. <laughs> Mr. Onisaku, 20 bucks. Send a pic. Let me see what you look like before you saying that. Mm. I think he was talking to Ms. Brooklyn. Yeah, Ms. Brooklyn. I know, but this I'm combo, saying I got a niece like... This combo Ms. Brooklyn crazy. don't give I a fuck. I've been with my girl for almost 10 years and she's never had to work. Why would she want to work when she doesn't have to, when she has to, me to provide? Yo, so, also, guys, do us a favor. We're having a great discussion here. Like the goddamn video. Helps with the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? We're having these tough discussions that other podcasts would never have. Yeah. Uh, you know, and all the ladies on the panel are really good sports, really good discourse tonight. Uh, 20 bucks, David K. If you have kids with no family, you need to be a boss, babe. No high value men will pay for someone else's gene pool. The only reason to marry these days is for a legacy. Facts. Pause Nation, 20 bucks. Stop the show. Everybody stand up right now and battle to the Albanian queen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Marcel. 20 bucks. Can you ask her if she would give up things for her kids? I assume she doesn't want to give up her career because she heard or seen something bad. So she doesn't want to trust a man. Does she trust her fa her male family members? I will. So I'm going to elaborate on that. I would give up anything for my kids. I ain't going to hold you. Like I said, the daughter situation, I'd give up anything to bring her back and not me. Okay. At the end of the day, what does me giving up do when their dad ain't nothing right now? I'm going to just keep trying to make them feel like their dad's something and give them a good life. Okay. They live in Miami in a bougie neighborhood. We good. That's I ain't going to hold you. That's dope. Uh, Do uh, Donald, uh, our former president, 20 bucks. To my Albanian, to my Albanian lady, I just wanted to say to shine. Let's uh, not say that what he said. Okay, good. Yeah. What, wait, what does it mean? Uh, I'll tell you later. It's no. not for TV, but it's not nice. Oh, right. bro? I mean, it, 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 it's it, nothing bad. It's just it something sexual? that it's like, it's sexual, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ready for you. Yeah. We got Edmonton's finest. I uh, um, think that's a penis and a uh, Albanian. Yeah, uh, that's actually the other way. <laughs> oh, okay. So that was close. Yeah. Yo, Miss Albania, I'm Albanian too, and we both know if you were half as traditional as you're pretending, pretending to be, you wouldn't even be on a podcast like this. So stop the cap. These women are not traditional. Laugh my ass off. Your opinion. Yeah. All right. I, mean, I don't know what you want me to tell me. Vin Yang, 20 bucks. Beyonce dropped her career to focus on her family. Ooh. She also got cheated on with Becky with the good hair. Um, Actually, she created her own company, so she dropped her career? Hmm? Well, I mean, <laughs> what? She never dropped her career. Of, like, uh, Beyonce's music, a goddess. Music-wise, I think she kind of uh, backed but up a little Beyonce's bit. But Beyonce still got a clothing brand that she's running. And she still got cheated like great. half of us. But yeah. remember, like, it's, it's celebrities like, taking up her whole life, and there are celebrities as well, so it's kind of different. Uh, we got the golfer guys, 20 bucks, says, Myron. The great resignation is full of women who have left the workforce and their businesses to go back to the home and spend time with their family. Chicken the Grey is angry at her past choices. Yeah. I'm not angry at shit. It's just how I talk. <laughs> you the happiest person I know. There right. Mm -hmm. They just don't know me when I'm just me. I'm just in an argumentative mind state right now. Girl, you always uplifting me. <laughs> okay. There you go. Augustine El Galio Malaluna, 50 bucks. Thank you very much for that super chat. The warm up, 20 bucks. They want to be boss babes, but don't want to take care of a man. There's tons of guys y'all can uh, provide for. Y'all can even have multiple husbands. Go get them, sis. <laughs> okay. Yes, people Big that male. One marriage was good enough. 20 bucks says, women in the West think they can have it all. When in actuality, you're reality, you really can't. I need to know if the woman in the pink is a night rider because I'm 6'2", 240 pounds, black man, went to date outside my race with that mindset. What did, what did that mean again? It means he's a black guy who wants to see if you date 
black guys. Oh, I like to stay in within my race. I mean, he's six two. <sighs> okay, I like. So race. she is not a night rider. She's not. Okay, modded <laughs> fingers, twenty bucks. Myron needs to put the chef hat on every time he stops the show. Holy shit, chef boy Myron cooking. Yeah. Oh, and then one last thing too, because you had mentioned earlier that like a lot of guys uh, don't think this way, etc. I'll be very honest with you. A lot of them do. It's just that men can't really voice these types of concerns or opinions because if uh, anything, what I've come to realize, you know, because we've interviewed over a thousand women now at this point, anything that kind of like tells women, hey, we want you to be more feminine. We want you to be more submissive. We want you to not be fat. We want you to have once men kind of put standards on women, it's almost always met with some kind of contempt or, you know, misogyny or you're a sexist or whatever. And you know, that's why a lot of guys aren't honest about what they like in women. They'll say some bullshit like, oh, yeah, get your bag. I want you to have be a career woman. They're going to tailor <laughs> what they like in women to fit a, a certain social narrative so that they don't offend you. Because you guys saw it right now. We literally made some jokes. Shaniqua, whatever. The whole Internet's coming for us. So most guys can't afford to have people come at them because they'll lose their job. They'll get canceled. Report it. Whatever it is. We live in a very politically correct society. So the reason why this might sound crazy to y'all, what I'm saying is because Men can't speak like this openly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. We got almost 8,000 live viewers right now. It's 1.30 in the morning. There's a reason for that because very few platforms are honest and have these discussions with women to their face. They just you know, typically they do this in a locker room without women involved so that they don't get, you know, chastised for it. But that's why. No, for real. Like, that's why you don't listen to pillow talk and stuff. You feel me? And that's why I like this show because it trains dudes on what you want. Like, my future husband's going to watch this one day. And when I'm ready to get married, he's going to listen to this Something. stuff and know what I want. I Take think. me out to dinner. Don't, hey, show him. Yo. Don't show him this, your future I, husband. I think nah, watch it. Watch it so you know who I am. I think, I think mentioning Blueface was a bad idea. Anyhow. Why? Yeah. Why? I know my future Let's boyfriend my... is on here. Hey, baby. Let's nah, it was a good time. Your fault, but it's respons responsibility to get healing. Yes. And I did. That is sure. 20 bucks. One's from a traditional home and one's from a modern home. You work 60, 80 hours a week. You can't have a man and kids. It doesn't work for masculine women. White coat is literally the opposite of gray shirt. Feminine versus masculine on display. Uh, Eric, Martin, one hour bucks. a week. All holes are geniuses. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Steph, if you know how to use it right. Uh, 20 bucks. Fathers raise sons. That's why Gray Shirt is super ambitious and masculine. Single mothers still need a stepfather to fill in the role <sighs> of the deadbeat. Ooh, okay. So, all girl on the right is a dude, and girl on the left is broken. <laughs> all right. Am I left? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, th I, th I think they're saying you're broken, and they're saying she's a dude. You ain't wrong, but she ain't a dude. I know for fact. SMD. Suck my dick. <laughs> I'm not a dude, but suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> uh, Alex Tayo, the OG. Uh, hey, Mark, can you upload the data that single fathers are better than single mothers? Yes, it's in book four. Rolo Tomasi, go get that goddamn book. He has the data in there. Oh, uh, no, you Who's didn't. in jail and who has the kids? Huh? Huh? What? I said, who's in jail single and who has the kids? Single fathers is better than single mothers? Yes, they, 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 there's, there's some evidence that suggests that. You agree? I mean, if there's I evidence, agree. I feel it. But you just said that you want to stay at home. Hold on, hold on. So what do they got to do with anything? The stats do show that if a, if a child is raised by a father, they're more likely to be better off than raised just by the mother so alone. Even if the is, father if is abusive and rapist? Is, is, wait, that's a whole different story. On, We're on, not talking about that. If your husband is the money provider, the provider, he not raising your child, you are. They're talking about single parent homes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The mom is raising the child. The father is not really in the I'll, life. Because no, the father the is still in the life. Just the, I, I, uh, or I, I mean, I don't have kids, but in the future, I will be, for example, taking the responsibility of raising the kids. I have a structure of how a family in my eyes should work, right? Like my husband, I want it to be my the president. I want, I want to be guided. I want to be led. I don't want to have to be like, oh, we're doing this. No, I want to, Sit back, be a feminine. I mean, just have my man take lead. And I'm yeah. the vice president, That's right? True. So a president cannot do anything without the vice president's um, either awareness. support yeah, or awareness. awareness. And then when it comes to the children, the children are the board members. This is how I see it. You consult your children. You tell them what you're doing. But yeah, it's obviously you, 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 you take in consideration their their opinion but at the end of the day it's going to be the vice president the president who takes the lead with consulting the vice president and to me that's how we should work and again i don't like that work should because it's just so, so much burden in it but to me it has worked in my family and i do want to follow that i i, I want to follow that trend okay we'll turn, it to, we'll turn it to you because i know you had something you want to say um, you haven't talking much so spoken much so go ahead um, I agree with you. I read Steve Harvey's book. I forgot what it what it's called. Think like a man. Like a man. I read his book, like that, and yeah. he oh. he says he says that 
all men want that girl who can just like be the wife and like support him at home and like reassure him that he's doing a good job, give him the cookie, take care of home. So I agree. I I, I would be a housewife. I would I would I would stop my business and compromise with doing something wherever he wants to go. Like, okay, you want to move back to Albania? Okay, well, let me do something in Albania. Then I'll mm-hmm. figure it out there. I'll compromise with him instead of him having to compromise with me because at the end of the it's day, just he's easier. The it's easier it for is. a female to pack up her bags to go to the male other than the male. So hold on. You read the book, right? Mm-hmm. Are you going to wait, wait, wait 90 days to huh? smash? Huh? You can Are you going ninety? 90 days? Oh no, I wouldn't. I'm, I would never make a man wait ninety days. Like that's, that's ridiculous. Pointless. Thank the Lord. Okay, that's cool. ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's pointless. I feel like okay. So I was Rich. raised by a woman, a single woman. Um, she was raised by women. It was just like generation. So I feel like men think. Merch. logically a lot of times and women think emotionally they move we move on our emotions just based off rip yeah so if i i really feel like if my father Merch. had stepped in and really cared and raised me i would have been way farther than just my mom because my mom she's hard work, working she did a lot she came into this country she did a lot for us but at the same time she moves so much on emotion that it drives me nuts at 25 like me and my mom we debate on certain things because she still moves on a lot of emotion and I feel like in her life she wouldn't even went further you know if she had her father in her life I get sick and tired of listening to my mom like you're a strong woman you don't need no man and this then a third and um you was raising come from generation and generation of just women like I want to break the curse because I actually do want to get married do I want to have kids right now no because I'm not mentally ready that has nothing to do with anybody else this is just my choice but at the same time, it's just like, I do want a ma- male figure who can actually lead. I hate thinking all the time. Make the fucking choice for me. Like, <laughs> steer the wheel because I'm always fucking driving. I'm fucking tired. I want to go to sleep. Like, damn. You know, even if it, it's a mutual choice, like how she said, you know, she wants a president and is vice president. Of course, I see where you're coming from, too. Like, sometimes I straddle the fence, especially as I was growing up. It was like you're seeing people, you know, especially the celebrities. They go through divorces. The woman didn't do nothing jack shit the whole time she was just riding on his his bill and then now she want to go prenup and oh i want to take 20 million dollars from your business and she didn't do exactly (laughs) and she didn't do nothing the whole time so i feel like it's pointless to just be sitting there and not completely just do nothing just be like a like there's nothing wrong with a housewife it is a lot of work raising people and stuff like that Mm. but to be completely she Tomorrow's not promised. If he goes away tomorrow, you can't take over his business to do nothing. Like, you you can't run his business. You can't be boss or nothing. So now your kids is just riding on the little thing that daddy, daddy set up for them. And then you just lost in the sauce. Like, I feel like that's stupid. But then at the same time, it's just like, you could be your own woman. You could do all that stuff. You know, it's nice. It's cute. But I still want a man to steer the wheel. Like, I still want a man to really... She had something too, and then I'll go back to the chats. Go ahead. Okay, so I agree with you completely. Like, if that's how it is, it should that that's how it should be. I tell everybody all the time, if I would have known I would have been a single mom, so I was scared I wouldn't have done it. You feel me? Because this shit's hard. It's super mm-hmm. hard. And I got my tube started. I can't go back and start again. Yeah. You know? But at the end of the day, I got to make the best of it. Like, I stayed with someone as long as I did. I knew what the hell it was, and I stayed. Mm-hmm. And then it took one trauma thing to, like, make me leave. And after that, that's when my mindset changed. You feel me? It wasn't all about what can I do for him? What can he do for me? Because he was 22. I was 25. He didn't do nothing. Yeah, he was younger. Okay, whatever. We got married when I was 19 and he was 18. Well, he just turned 18. I'm not going to hold you. But we met super young because of our age group and the friends we were with. Like, that don't mean nothing. You feel me? Yeah. I got married young. I tried to make it work. I did college and worked in a warehouse getting sexually harassed while pregnant. All he did was play Xbox. Like, I did all of that. I did all those trials and bases. So I feel like that's why, like, respectfully, like, your mindset, your mindset's perfect. I'm not going to say you're wrong for that because that's what I wanted. But my mindset changed when I gave a dude that cooked for him every night while going to work and all he did was play Xbox and take care of the babies and when I got home 
after working all night, I still had to take care of the baby. Yeah, but you know, that's different. different. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're different. different. I respect you for that. Let me talk real quick. You chose the wrong guy. But, but. Yeah, no, I did. Mistake. That's what I'm saying. Your like, mistake, I don't think she's wrong for what she says. It's your mistake dumping. is you was expected too much from a little boy. He didn't even fully develop his mind yet. <laughs> no, and you're right. Yeah. His like, frontal trusted, lobe wasn't even no, developed. No, you're right. You're right. So, like, I trusted the first guy I ever lost my virginity to because yeah, I grew up with my mom selling me. So I trusted trauma the first dumb. dude. But yeah. And then that's what it. I'm uh, saying. And, and just, just to bring it back full circle, the, the, the whole reason this discussion even started was simply put, he was asking uh, where are the stats where single fathers perform better than single mothers. It's in the book. Uh, shout out to Roland Tomasi. He's it's in book the chat right now. Religion. He's in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He has stats in there about how basically, long story short, ladies, because that's where we started here. Hey, is that when you compare, you know, single father households to single mother households, the the, the, the single father households do not produce such a high rate of degenerate children as the single mother hold households. Because moms become right. more desperate, I feel. Well, and not only that, but it depends on the gender of the kid. Like, I have daughters, and I don't want my daughters to be like me. No, I'm not no, going to hold it's you. It's not that. It's just it's simply put that, like, men, t- the father's place in the family typically tends to be more of a leadership slash disciplinary yeah, role versus no, a mother right. is there to coddle you. I've always said it like your father is most needed during the adolescent years when you're more pr- prone to make serious mistakes that can fuck you up long term. Drug use, getting arrested, getting in trouble, et cetera. All these things that teenagers get in trouble for, your dad is pretty much that first line of defense. Yeah. Which and that's why I'll go brand. broke, making sure my kids could talk to their dad on video. All right, bro. Right. We got a super chat here. Okay, uh, one last point, and then we'll continue on. Go ahead. There is such thing called emotional incest, and that always comes from the females raising the kids mm-hmm. and being single mothers. There's a lot of mothers that have literally raised their guys, their boys to literally be the man of their dreams, not a man in society to be the best man that he can be for his life. Literally a man for, of her dreams. So when he goes off and tries to make his own family, there go mama, she I don't like her. And you taking my son from me and this, that, and that. I feel like that's weird. And it really comes from single mothers raising kids. And then you have the, the opposite. Let's go into the females where the mother, of course, no mother. If you make your own mistakes, you want your daughter to do the best in the world. And not but then you. you have the mothers that's literally hating on their daughters because they're doing things better than what their mothers did when they were their age. They didn't have kids early. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. They make it more money. And then the mom is just literally hating on the girl. And it's just like, yo, and people don't even realize that it, I always feel it's a balance in everything, Mm -hmm. masculine and feminine energy within that person. And within that relationship, a man can do certain things and give certain things to the table that a woman can never give, no matter how much she imagine it, sleep on and it, vice versa. and all of that, women and then vi- that vice versa, yeah, a woman can do certain we call, things. We call that son husband. Basically. Yeah, and then it's just like, and then the woman can do certain things that yeah. even if a man just imagines and he's like, oh, you know, I wish I could, you know, and he could try to be a super emotional and all of that stuff, but it's not gonna be the same like your mother. So it's just like at the end of the day, I feel like everybody has points at this table. Mm-hmm. We've all hit certain aspects, but we're not really seeing it as a whole. And what they're trying to say is like earlier it has to be one leader you can't really fight that somebody's gonna lead whether it's just gonna be the female and then the man is playing the team player or it's most likely the man and the woman is the team player okay. you know and you're exactly right at the end of the day there's always one house leader and there's always all of that like everything you just said was on point you feel me yeah like nobody's been wrong at this table we're all forgetting the common denominator and the common denominator is everybody has different ideas of what they think is perfect all right you brought yeah. up a very good point emotional incest is very real so that's a very it good is point you very up. real um, all right mm-hmm. i'll keep going here men control relationships marriages so it's up to us to choose you that's travalo smooth mm-hmm. 20 bucks new york literally has the most masculine woman in the world and the men by default have to give into that just to get play eileen you're hot J. Do trini <laughs> uh marco 20 bucks girl in the gray is classic ny hyper masculine women that's how they are raised here no disrespect that's all they know girl in the pink is wise listen up ladies you have anything you want to say back to that, Ms. If you know me when I'm not arguing and I'm not in a debate mindset, I'm actually mad, just chill and just sweet. Like, I'm being so serious and yeah, I don't I mean, like how y'all looking yeah, right she, now. I mean, she, she, when, nah. I, when I first met her and walked walk in, she was very chill. So it wasn't like she was like, yo, big bond nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks. Uh, Girl, straw, what, so poppy? 
Shout out to the roommates who talked about it last time here. Many boss babes move out of fear of possibly losing everything if they depend on a man. Be a wife to a man who got his shit together and he will never leave you. That's true. Mm-hmm. Men rarely initiate divorce, ladies. Women initiate about 80% of them. Just choose carefully. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, right. so, even if a, let's say a dude has a kid with you and he and he wants to go and fuck other chicks, he's still probably gonna keep you around, bro. He probably yeah. ain't gonna leave you. Like real talk, because there's so many like institutions set up where if a guy divorces you, he's gonna get punished for it. And he's gonna lose his money. He's gonna lose his kids. He's gonna have to pay alimony. So they the reason why they say it's cheaper to keep her that is a very real phrase because yeah. men are heavily, heavily um, hurt by um, trying to initiate divorce. Or, if, divorce kills men, generally. And if anything, I mean, women if leave most of the time anyway, so like... Yeah. All right. Sukhoi, uh, R.I.P. John Madden. Yep. R.I.P. to John Madden. Uh, David K., 20 bucks. Uh, women have lied, have been lied to and don't realize they're at the peak of their negotiation power at age 24. Every year added lowers their options. Women these days are raised to be bosses, not wives. That's true. Uh, in other words, what he's saying is that, you know, when you're young, you have the most negotiating power to get the best guy that you can get. So by the time your career pops off and you're making that money at 31, 32, you might not have the ability to attract the very men that you've been fighting so hard to actually attract, if that makes sense. Which is true because we're raised like that. It's like, okay, I'm 25. I don't have no kids. I have people be like, okay, you know, you're still young, live your life. And then I have those other people who be looking like, that's destructive. The, the, for the time is clip yeah. ticking, you know, you, you you don't have that long. And it's just like, but I just hit 25. 25 is a very young age. So it's just like, I'm trying to figure out self, but we're not literally, we're, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> don't no. do that. But at the <laughs> same time, I'm still young. Like, come on now, we average what? We die at like 80 on the average or something like that. I mean, 25 but, but, compared to 80. I have time. Here's the, numbers. Here's like, the simple numbers. Uh, Universally, men polled between 18 to 60 years old universally wanted women between 18 to 24. That was like, which is messed up because it's just like, okay, if you're 18, you're dating a guy that's like 30, 40, 50. Oh, you too young. He's what a pedophile, all types of stuff. If you wait, then you're too old. It's like women don't really have like. A, a real choice for real. That window is so small. You're so be, right because you're either be honest, a sugar baby like, or you're a moocher. Well, At here's the, the thing. The day. Men, men are under six feet tall. No one gives a shit. Men yep. don't make enough money. No one gives a I shit. I see Guys Narcos five eleven. No one I gives love a him. shit. So here's the thing. All is love and uh, all is fair in love and war. And unfortunately, you know, when it comes to the mating process, it can be fairly ruthless. But I would argue that women are far more ruthless than men are when it that comes to true. picking. Men are picking. far less picky yeah. than women are. So. I mean, I'm just giving you guys the age metric, but if you're attractive and you meet a certain age requirement, whatever it may be, you're going to have, you know, the world at your fingertips. It's just that women have so many choices nowadays with the paradox of choice that they think a lot like, hey, I can always do better. A good guy will come. Eh, he's not tall enough. Eh, doesn't make enough money. Well, I talked to this celebrity last week. I think I could attract him. And I think that's a very slippery slope that a lot of modern day women get into where they think, Mm. well, I've dealt with rappers before. I've met rappers before. I've met a celebrity before. I've been at a celebrity party before. I'm around these types of individuals. So that means I can actually attract them and retain them as a girlfriend. But what I'm here to tell you, ladies, is that just because you rub elbows with these types of men does not necessarily mean they're going to commit to you because these guys play the game. The more money and status a man has, the less likely he is to be faithful. So he's going to run around and fuck other chicks. So I think I think uh, with the women having choice, it's kind of like a double sword because you have a lot of choice and a lot of options. But at the same time, it's like you know, that comes with a lot of responsibility. And like most women, they'll just choose a guy off of like maybe looks or like you know height, which is status, you know, status, or status, but, which isn't a bad thing. But it's like, okay, is it gonna commit to you or is it gonna play the field? At that point, is your your choice to make? Yeah. So, so you know, it, it's 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 funny because the very things that you guys are aroused by are actually uh, from a long term basis dangerous to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why girls mm-hmm. want the fuck boy that's toxic, whatever. You have something? Go ahead. Yeah. So I feel like I definitely agree with everything you just said, right. but you got to realize that the guys at the top have all the power. So yep. like, yeah, if you are six foot tall and you're making, let's say 200, 300 grand a year, then yep. yeah, you have your selection of every girl. And the same thing goes with them is where the, where girls are like, oh, I talked to this rapper this week or uh, this DJ or whatever it is. Like the guys at the top still can say the same thing. I in, message this Instagram model, whatever. It works on both sides, but then you get down to these guys that the women aren't attracting. So it's, it, I think it's kind of fair to like bring in the point that, yeah, these women like run out of options, but there's the lower, there's a pyramid. It's a pyramid. Yeah. I saw, I literally saw it on Instagram like a few days ago. You got, yeah. you got the chads at the top and then you got 
the the what is it the Stacy's right under it it's the hierarchy of dating on hinge and then you have these lower echelon of like men that like have no one because all the girls yeah. are attracted to the top one percent exactly. yeah. so yeah. you don't want to mislead everyone watching right now because not everyone is the top one percent that's six foot tall and has all these options of women like some of them would just want like a nice girl you know and they'll they'll be willing to you know, make some compromises because they're not six foot tall and they're not making. But 100. here's the unfortunate reality: those guys are invisible to invisible, women. Invisible, yeah. yeah. That's not. You can say. You can say that. Honestly, I like guys that aren't six foot tall, and I like guys that just treat me nice. That's you, I'm, though. That's that's you. That, I'm okay. Yeah. I mean, most girls are here. It's true. I, I can't date nobody shorter than me. I'm exactly. five. Well, seven. I'm short, I'm so yeah. I mean, most girls would, would never even settle. But see, so. I'm four eleven. You feel me? So I really can't date no one shorter than me. Yeah. But it's not even that. You feel me? And it's I'll not the you. status quo because if that was the case, I got hella rappers. I've dated hella producers. I haven't leaked nothing. I ain't no Selena Powell. Like fully disrespectfully, I ain't no Selena Powell. But at the end of the day, it's like what I'm attracted to, it's just a certain caliber. It's how you act. It's all of that. But my, what I'm attracted to ain't it. It ain't right. You feel me? We're like, Because also- I'm attracted to rappers where bitches are a dime a dozen. And that's what I learned. And that's why I don't hold myself to no special quality. Because th- as much as I think I'm special, because I got a little bit of little bit of a booty. I got blonde hair and I'm short. There's another bitch who looks just like me and 10 times better. And there's always going to be that. And for guys, it's always that. Yep. There's yeah, always a better option on the, both sides. Yeah, the, the thing is this, though, ladies. The difference is, is that, you know, th- there's a small percentage of men, right, that that have these options. Whereas, like, there's a wide variety of women that have all these options. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. So yeah. you can say, I like a nice guy, blah, 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 all this other stuff. The numbers show otherwise, man. Women find, like, 80 to 90 percent of men is unattractive. They did a Tinder study where they found over 90 percent of men mm-hmm. is unattractive that are on dating apps. So, I mean, we have all the data out there that shows that. Women are pretty much the ones that select for the majority. But when you're dealing with higher status men, that's one of the rare situations where the men have leverage. And that's why I'm saying if you want a guy in that caliber, you're going to have to concede to him. You won't be able to play these games of I'm not quitting my job, etc. like you'll be able to do with a normal guy. But yeah. again, it's a double edged sword because the very men that you say, I'd, I'd settle for that. No, you wouldn't like no, you wouldn't. W- women tend to have an overinflated sense of ego, whereas men tend to have a deflated sense of ego because men don't get the same sexual attention and options that women do. You could take a girl. That's average looking. She's going to get more attention than a guy that's in the top 5%. Easy. All true. day, all Easy. night. Mm-hmm. Can't true. compete. Okay, so we got uh, JD Trini says 20 bucks. Single mothers create a lot of resentment in their daughters in today's society. Black shirt is giving an example of that right now. Okay. <laughs> that's J-Rod. why I make, so hard, for, make sure so hard they love their dad. For every I ain't going to hold you, a young father is sent to the pen. Civil <laughs> life, quit talking. Um, we got Chris Hill, 20 bucks. My God. Talk about Big Time Olympics. Every time she talks, it always starts with, what has happened to her? You feel me? You <laughs> ain't wrong. Facts. I ain't going to hold you. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> all right. Uh, and then we got here. Uh, 20 bucks study says over 90% of all NY women be alone by 2035. <laughs> what? No, no. He probably, he's probably he's just married by 2030. Uh, honest citizen all the way from South Africa. A mom and dad is important for child's proper development. Ladies, mm-hmm. what is the effective, what, what is the effect of any LGBT couple's parenting on a child's development? Yeah, no I'm can I go start that? that? We because, ain't gonna get into that. Yeah, yeah. we ain't gonna, gonna go down that, that road. Alex, that's a whole other podcast. Alex M, hundred dollars. <laughs> Girl in the gray got roast beef energy. First time viewer, by the way, love the channel. <laughs> what what, what, she, what <laughs> she wait, mean by wait. that? <laughs> it means, uh, uh, like war, it's war, the war, equivalent. Man. Think of it as uh, when when the dude has small dick energy. Uh, yeah. that's that's the equivalent roast for a woman. Roast, uh, she has roast beef energy. <laughs> well, well, so what, that, what does that mean though? It means they're wrong because I've seen it and it's nice as fuck. Wait, okay. wait, I'm not so confused on what. TMI. Wait, hold on. Wait, what okay, are you so talking about? TMI, hold on. TMI. Wait, you've seen her vagina? No. We oh, live so together. The... Huh? We live together right now. Wait. So you go back to New York. We live together. Like, don't we? Wait. No. We Why? live together in the B and B. I know. <laughs> I'm saying you live no. right now with me while you're visiting. <laughs> while you're visiting. <laughs> okay. Okay. So live together. <laughs> no, but till you go back yeah, to okay, New York. So. Till you go back to New York. <laughs> All right. I know that you're trying to defend Wait. me, but okay. look, we. <laughs> All right. Show me. I don't know you. So like, what? Right what? Down. So right down. Down. I'm just saying uh, she's hot. So- <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, my wait, black ass is going right you? back to the I know I'm week. saying, but you in the B and B with me, right? Yeah, right now? Right. That's what B&B, I was saying. But you right, said right, live right, is right. right now till okay. you go back. All right. But you know what's I'm just saying you're hot. So 
So guys, we, yeah. We, so we they got, basically saying that as got, a woman, we got you a, have that small dick energy. Yeah. So energy. like roast. We got a show beef, tomorrow beef beef is at uh, seven. Ready to stop us. And then uh, another show with the girls. I believe we got a guest uh, coming as well. Who? Actually, we got our boy coming back. Should I just say? Say it. Ben the Don. He's coming back actually uh, tonight. I'm sorry, no, uh, t- tomorrow. And we'll, we'll probably do a show tomorrow as well. Who? Uh, sorry? Ben the Don, the uh, comedian. Oh, okay. Uh, right. OBJ's brother. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. He comes back tomorrow, so we'll do a show with him, a one-on-one. Yep. And then with the girls as well. Cool. Uh, and then, uh, what else? What else? And oh, then- real quick. Guys, do me a favor. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Fed It. Okay? Um, so for some of you guys that don't know, I have a new YouTube channel. It's called Fed It, F-E-D-D-I-T. I break down, as y'all know, I used to work in law enforcement uh, uh, federally. Uh, I did a lot of, you know, Rico, criminal cases, whatever it may be. So I'm breaking down some of your favorite hip-hop artist cases. I just did the Casanova case. Prior to that, I did the YNW Melly case, where I think Casanova... <laughs> Is gonna probably go to jail for a while, and why why W Melly might get the death penalty. I broke it down, read the court paperwork, and yeah, give you guys a perspective that no one else on YouTube has from a former uh, special agent. So yeah, check that out, guys. Go subscribe to the channel. It's called Fed It. It's linked below. Um, yeah, go subscribe, like the videos. A lot of informative stuff on there. Very unique stuff. And we're saying it now. We probably are going to be on a big podcast in New York uh, coming up. I won't say the exact one until we confirm, but we'll let you guys know tomorrow. All for right. the most part. All right. all right, cool. And then all the ladies' Instagrams are below. Below, uh, Ladies, any last thoughts before we go? Thank you for having me. I had so much fun. To my future boyfriend that is watching, I'm not <laughs> masculine. I'm just letting you know <laughs> that I'm ready, chill, and I'm just a sweet girl. It just, I'm just arguing right now. Bing bong. Shout out to you. Bing bong. <laughs> Fuck your life. And I only wear heels on Saturdays. But I okay. mean, yep. I always enjoy my just time here. Especially the first time we went viral. Um, <laughs> I will never forget that. that but um, I always enjoy my time here. So hopefully I get to come back yeah. again. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're happy to have you. It's Albania. Yeah, same thing with me. I want to I wanna thank both of you guys. Thank you for having me. I truly enjoyed it. And You guys want some IVs? Go to her. Yes, please. Facts. I'm Message me. Tomorrow. And when you have your club. kid, I just want to see a facial expression. You going to be smiling? When I have kids, yeah, you leave. When I have kids, when you pregnant, like you, yeah, like that after that picture. I feel, I feel like you're not even gonna be screaming. I feel like you know what? Um, I, I have actually thought about that, about that, and I want to do home birth. Like I don't want to go to all the hospitals. Oh, facts, okay. facts. I don't want to. That's pretty smart. What about you? Um, just thanks for having me, and I enjoyed listening to you ladies debate. Listen, you can't all live for Orlando. You were quiet. Yo, oh, yo, show, yo. She, show. she came up this morning. I'm like, hey, yo, uh, can you come on the show today? She's like, yeah, sure. I'm going home right now. I'll get packed. I was driving in and getting a hotel. So I feel like I really you. didn't get a chance to speak. Like, they were, they really had a lot to talk about. So. No, but you were dope. Every time you did speak, you were dope as fuck. We gave you a chance to speak. Yeah, we gave you a chance. <laughs> Gotta talk, man. Yeah, you okay, know. so I want to say thanks for having me because, you know, this was dope. Also, whoever thinks of me, like, whatever you think, I really don't care, TBH. Second of all, <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm happy in life. I'm doing good. So, like, you know, shout out to y'all. Follow me on Insta and I'll literally leak all my receipts to every rapper I've been with. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Ellie, save us. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Hovengers. Hashtag Hovengers, bro. We're recruiting. All right. Okay. Bring them with you on the next show. You bet. I'll bring FYI, Bella. FYI, so she's saying we live. I'm not a part of the whole <laughs> Vengeance. Nah, she's not in whole I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, I came out here to visit. <laughs> I guess she was trying to protect me, so she wanted to say that. <laughs> at all. Listen, I'm just look, saying, look, 3K look, a week, whole Vengeance. Sh- recruit. Saying, look, I know Shorty, but we, we cool. We, 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 we like cool. That. Yeah, we, she's we, like, right. she's cool, but I'm not a slut like her. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. Mm-hmm. And guys, like the video, by the way. Do me a favor, like the goddamn video. I only see 4.5, 3K likes. Get us 76,000. Like uh, well, you know, always a pleasure being back on here. I really love hearing the feedback from you guys uh, you on say Instagram. Yeah, I try not to be too fucking she, evil. She's polite. You but, wore those yeah. sexy glasses. You're good. Thank yeah, you. she was I try, I try and seductive. stay polite, but, you know, always a pleasure being here. <laughs> all right, fair all right, enough. Guys, see you all tomorrow. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Fed It. Subscribe to Oh man, I'm leaving tomorrow. We got more. We got one important super chat. Oh shit. Right. Okay, Mister Onizuka. Uh, this is for Big Mo. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. Oh man, <laughs> so that, is oh, don't do him like so that. No, no, no from, um, Shout out Tora. It was act- it was I'm actually sweating. from yesterday with the um the Moesha thing. That he caught what I did basically. Oh, okay. It was, oh, a, yeah, it was okay. a um what I did yesterday was this um well, grand, the, the San Andreas reference. Oh, and hey, some of the GTA? chat caught that. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, because we, we have a game where role play is girls and have the girls try to attract us and they're the dudes. 
I and it's hilarious because the girls always fail. But um, up, baby. But yeah. Uh, do we have anything else, Chris? No, we're good. All right, cool. All right. Other than that, guys, yo, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace. And we'll catch you guys Peace. tomorrow night. And follow, follow my me, IG for follow me. me. Follow me on IG. All the night. If I were.